All right, so we should be live. Everything great. All right. Hi, hello. Welcome to Tanuki Matt's stream again once more. And we are back to Dead Stranding, of course. Um, as the schedule shows. Here we are. And, um, yeah, where were we? Um, we were connecting the cities. Um, of course, that's the main, main story. We fought the giant squid monster last time. That was quite, um, scary. But actually, I didn't fail. I got it done pretty well. And, um, and, um, other than that, we've been trying to um, connect the little bits between the big cities. So there's like kind of, it's not side quest, but there's this like little quest that you had to do along the way. But let's continue. So like these kind of outposts that we had to do some errands for um, in order to gonna get gain their support and we need those posts to join so that we can link the next big city um we also got to a completely new area this time and we had some story with this this woman here um um called what's her name again fragile i reckon yeah and also, fragile, fragile sort of introduced to us then uh, fast travel, like it said there. Um, she can kind of jump from one location to another, so that allows me to do that as well, along with her somehow. Anyway, it's it's their reasoning for fast travel. I don't possess any such skills. Um. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. I'm not 100% certain where I was with all this, but I think what I did last was was I was um, getting something from the um, mules camp. Mules are like these sort of bad guys. Uh, the, um, the porters have gone kind of rogue, I guess, and are sort of terror terrorizing our our um our lives our efforts to unite um to unite these cities of america and um yeah so we were in their camp and we did um we, we stole something from them actually they uh it went terribly wrong i was trying to be all stealthy like and sneaky like but it didn't work at all um they actually got me, and then I had to kick their old ass arses. Um, didn't go well at all. But anyway, let us take more orders then. Sam, a lot of clients are requesting you by name. Now, while okay. there are orders we need you to accept, which are critical to the expansion of the chiral network, sure. there are others that you can take or leave at your discretion. Good. So main quest, side quest. That it's in everyone's best interest for you to do as much as you can. And more work means more rewards. Okay. However, um, I'm not going for a completionist run. I'm going for very much a story-based run. So I'm not really trying to complete everything. But anyway, this says here, order types. Orders marked with a star or a uh, diamond are specifically for Sam. Orders for Sam marked with whatever that is. A strand of hair. <laughs> what is that? Anyway, must be completed in order to progress. Right. So the the kind of um an effect thing. That means there's a story um story missions that we need to do. And then um these uh diamond ones or the triangle ones I don't have to do. Or the diamond ones I don't have to do. But completing them brings benefits. Right? But I don't much care for these. So, um, this seems to be fairly easy. Fresh pizza. <laughs> pizza seems completely irrelevant to me. 
there's road reconstruction, um, which this um, is the one that I am interested in. However, it is a little bit, um, uh, at least, well, let me check. Reconstruct the road in the designated area. Um, yeah, it's a long, long road and it takes so much. Um, it takes a lot of, um, what's it called, resources. <laughs> All right, so I think we're just going to go with the prototype bot delivery. Distribution center south of Lake Knot City. So that's where we're going. Um, I have, I'm going to have three items to deliver. Some prototypes. Is there anything interesting? Deliver three pieces of gar cargo. If you do not deliver the required amount, the order will be considered a failure. Okay, so nothing really special about this one. We shall ex accept that one. Prepped a prototype bot for transport. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Okay. These autonomous delivery bots prove reliable. They could revolutionize our supplies distribution network. A lot's riding on this. So be careful right. out there. I shall try and be careful. Um, shouldn't be a huge problem. Uh, fabricate equipment. I already have a uh, power skeleton. I don't know how these differ. Uh, silver. I think they're all the same. It's just different, um, uh, different skin, which I really don't much care about. Um, we have a bike, and there's a long-range bike, which I guess we could make one. Two forty of those, one sixty of those. Um, the battery will drain very quickly when the trike is in water. Okay, I didn't know that actually. Um, interesting that you can, yeah. Um, the battery will gradually recharge in sunny or cloudy weather. The trike will also short circuit when struck by mules. Is this the same then? Are those the same things as with this one? Yeah, very quickly in water. And yeah, mules electrical attack. Okay, good to know. So. I think we're going to make one wrong long distance bike. We have already we got, we've already got a bola gun. Ah, bola gun, not Ebola. And um smoke grenade, a grenade that uh, releases a large cloud of smoke when thrown, obscuring the view of those caught up in it, causing them to cough violently. Um I think I'll make I'll make a couple of these. Why not? All right. Let's build this stuff. Or fabricate this stuff. There we go. Now we have a bike. Yes. All right. Um, let us... Um, why is it... It's got a... Star vehicle? Why? Retrieve? It's in the left. That's fine. Let it be in the left. Okay, um, these we're just gonna, yeah, carry on back. It's all good. Uh -oh. I'll attach this to my suit. Yeah, that's fine. I'll attach this to tool rack, and then we'll <laughs> auto arrange everything in the most optimal way. And then I'll check if there's anything I actually don't kind of don't need. So these are. Um, the quest items. I could I could put some of them on in the on the actual bike as well. I don't need the resins. And I can remove that. Decoy cargo. I didn't actually really know proper how to use, but I think I could try it again. But um, I think I'll ditch it for now. So I've got the grenades. Um. The repair spray is pretty much done. I'll ditch that as well. Smoke grenades I want. Climb one uh, one ladder. One PCC, which is all almost dead. Just gonna destroy the the stuff that are in really bad condition. And um, I'll build new ones. Ladder is in good condition. So we need one PCC just in case we have to build something. Got loads of blood bags. 
think I'll ditch this one. Got the power skeleton, which will help me carry more stuff and I guess be faster. I actually did not choose what to do with this stuff, so. Is it still selected? No, of course not. Why would it be? X grenade, what are these? Um, containing Sam's condensed urine. Urine. <laughs> All right. Collected one, yeah. Um, has a noticeable effect on BTs, although the only way to find out what the effect might be is to try it. Yeah. I yeah, they're in the locker. That's fine. I don't need them out of there. The resin. That ladder is fine. Um, I think I'll ditch the cargo. This climbing anchor is fine. Grenades are fine. I'll ditch the repair. Let's pray there's only 50 available. Um, the ladder is in crappy condition and so is the PCC. I need to build another, fabricate another PCC. And um, got boots. I've got loads of blood bags, which I guess I could ditch one maybe. Right, okay, and then choose what do we do with all this stuff, and we will place it in private locker. We'll just offload. It's not important. These aren't important things. Auto arrange again. Confirm these choices. I'll have to activate once more to. There we go, our bike that I just built. But, um, yeah, I want to activate once more because I need to build one of the PC. What was it? What are they called again? Uh, PCC. Because I don't have any and I might have to build something at some point. So it's good to have one at least. Got one ladder, one climbing anchor. I think that's fine. Yep, that's all. Okay, one PCC. All right. And we'll put it on two rack. Okay. Good. And I think now we're good to go. How is the baby doing? Howdy. BB looks happy. Good. It's not full bar, so I'm... Or maybe it is, actually. Right, I like BB. Okay. There we go. We've got... Quite a bit of stuff. But... Um, that's okay. We've also got a bike, so... That will make our work a lot easier. And this is a long distance one. I think the one I had last time was only short distance. However, I don't know that is true. I just kind of thought so. Here we go. I don't even know where I'm going, if I'm honest. So there's a charging station here, right? No. Yeah. Online generator. Yeah. Oop. I didn't mean to do that. So we'll go to the generator first because oh and the truck i used last time is there as well so we can't avoid maybe we can maybe i'll just actually go around i won't go through the mules area at all we're there um did i create a new And then there's another mule air, mules area. And that's pretty far away, this thing. I wonder if there's any generators. Here's one. Probably have to go there. And then go forward. And um, not sure if I can actually avoid, avoid this area. But I'll try because um, I don't much care for... There's another generator. 
actually use it. And then make my way there. This might be a terrible route. I don't know. Let's 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 try it. Baby points. But yeah, this is the truck I stole from them last time around. Um, and it, apparently it's, it persists, so that's, that's kind of fun to know. I didn't know, actually, that if I save and quit, it's going to stay there or not. I suppose, why wouldn't it? But, you know, never really be sure. Hey, someone's built a bridge here. That's very convenient for us. This is more a sort of Mars-like deserty type area, but then when we get to the other side over there, it gets a little bit more like as it was before in the previous area as well. Or more New Zealand-esque as well. Oh, there's some BTs around. Uh-oh. I don't really want to bump into BTs. They are really scary and it's kind of clumsy trying to get get away from them on the bike. Where's the next? I guess it's C2 then, isn't it? Oh. Um, that was probably not a good way of going through there. <laughs> well, anyway. That's lost cargo, but I don't care about that. Here we go. So yeah, the bike goes through water quite fine, but it loses energy faster when in the water. And here's an actual road. I... Uh, entering power grid. No longer power grid. Hmm. So where am I going? That looks like uh, wh how far am I? But I don't actually need to go to that power grid. I have well enough power to go all the way there. So I shall plan a new route because this road seems to work fine. So let's use it. Go through there because I don't want to go to the mule territory over there. And then all the way there to the generator. I don't even know if we need to use it. We'll see. If we don't, good. If we do, well then... Then we'll... Like I said, we'll see. And there we go. And then that's the new place we need to link, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I think so. I can use this road. Uh oh, is is that a BT's thing? Should I be going faster? Why not? Pretty cool going. Oh, there's the bridge. I think that area there is the mule area. So yeah, we don't want to go there. We want to cross the bridge here. And thanks. <laughs> yeah. So here we are. And then where's our where's our route? Oh there. A five. Oh <sighs> this bike is a little this is probably I think that one of the things that's maybe worst made in this game is the bike. But it's still fine. It's not really like a major focus of this game anyway, but it's kind of clunky, if I'm honest. There we go. There we go. That was fine. And then, yeah, I know the road's right there, but let's actually see where we're supposed to go. Cause that area there, this is the mule area where the bad guys are. We don't really want to go there. I'm just going to go to the generator there to charge my bike and then all the way there. But I don't actually need 
I don't know if I need to go to the generator, but I guess I might as well. Let's have a go. This seems like decent terrain to ride it through anyway. Um, there are BTs a little further. Yeah, that way. We went there before and avoided them. But this is a gorgeous looking environment, isn't it? If you look at these mountains here. It's a pretty game. Really. Thank you. Whoa, no camera mode. Okay. Camera mode might be actually pretty good fun in this one as well. Oh, wait a minute. That's mule territory. I don't want to go there. How far do I have to go? Oh, it's not though, is it? It's not showing up as mule territory in the map. But it's... Okay, so this is just not part of our network yet. That's fine. That's our job, really, is to unite this area to the other areas. Oh, there's another bridge. Let's see if we need to take it. Yeah, we do want to be taking that bridge. Okay. Just a little careful down the hill. And up we go. Over the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Like I said, a little bit clunky. And then this way. Kind of along the stream, really. Uh, I wonder if I can actually get up from through there. I might have to go through there. That looks a little bit better, that terrain. This area here seems a little bit better. Yeah, definitely easier to get up through here. Mm -hmm. And then go back to our path. The route we planned. Which this one isn't wasn't really very carefully planned. It was just uh oh. There we go. Just basically taking us the most direct route to the next city. Or I don't know if it's really a city. The next area, next location. Well. I reached the marker. So a little further ahead and that's that's it. That's it there, right? Yep. This place here. It's one of these places that, um, like in the beginning of the game. Um, is there a safe route down? Because this does not seem like one. I think I can do this one here. Yeah, this one seems all right. Ah, uh, some trial biking. Here we go. And we shall connect this place to our network. And it will join the United Cities of America. I guess. Or maybe they won't. I don't know. So far, all but one have actually joined us. Boom, 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 boom. Sam Porter Bridges. Thank you, Bob. I think I named you Bob. I don't know who what your name is. Activate terminal. Make delivery, delivery. Yes, this is fine. Three out of three items. All good. Bring South Not City. Yeah, it is a city. On to the Cairo Network. Deliver all three containers, yeah, all good. Yeah, it's the same port. We were told you'd help with the bot testing too. But before we get to that, let's see how she's doing. Who? Oh, the the stuff I brought. Okay. Pretty as a picture. Okay. Good. 
what were you saying about bots? So we're gonna help you test these. I don't know about that. Not really a bot tester, dude. I'm a porter, a delivery guy. New title earned. Master handler. No, well, I thought I already had that one. But okay. Ooh. Okay. These bots aren't designed to operate outside the network service area. So let's get the okay. distro center linked up already. Yes, let's do this thing. It's a pretty pretty cool cutscene this. <laughs> the baby's like, whoa. And we're floating it here. Alright. Good stuff. Here we have it. One more place connected. Very much almost in the middle of the United States. Um. Yeah, I suppose this isn't really the United States. It's just kind of in that shape. But it, it's it's definitely not to scale, but it's not even if you even look at the... I guess the underlying map somewhere there. It looks nothing like what it would, I guess. So Anyway, that's, um, that's something to not really care about. But the shape is similar, isn't it? Okay, we have, they've joined the UCA. Oh, we've got better boots. Good. And this area now have all this, has all this stuff that other people have done in the network. Revealed to us. And there it is. I'll start prepping for the test. You okay. sit tight and wait for HQ to ring. Um... This is Much usually not. Sam. Now the bots can enter the final phase of testing. I okay. designed them myself, you know. My hope is that uh -huh. they'll lighten the load a little bit. Unlike human quarters, if one goes down, it won't cause a void out. Before the death stranding, scientists used to fret over the singularity. The ah. possibility that someone might be AI smarter than Go back to humans, drones delivering stuff instead of humans. Happened. Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't That's have beaches. Point. No matter how far they come, <laughs> machines they don't will never have understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the What bots. do you mean surpass? Worry, because they don't understand the death? They don't surpass, surpass us? Not sure what that means. <laughs> These so autonomous it's... delivery bots are designed to process some orders for you. Simple, run-of-the-mill orders only. Take a look at what's available. Okay. Assign delivery orders to autonomous delivery Cargo bots. Cargo transported by a bot is liable to get a little roughed up if the road's poor. On the flip side, a bot traveling on a well-maintained road is more likely to deliver cargo in better shape. I also see. Also faster, in case it wasn't obvious. Keep that in mind when sending them out. So what you're saying is we should fix the roads. But, um... It was like a bajillion of every resource, and I don't really feel like grinding. Let's see what this does. Oh, the cursor. Oh, here we get. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's like this. I would, I thought it would be um, flying. Like a drone, why not? <laughs> All right. Hey. Now we wait for the they have some personality to them. I don't know if that's necessary, today, but it's, it's one, fun. But if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Then okay. you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. 
we managed to slap together another delivery bot for fuel testing. You can decide okay. on this one. <sighs> Sorry, baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Oh, you have a baby? Good work, Sam. And, and like an actual baby? Bots will benefit everyone, from folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must right. be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one too. Head for the private room. Go on. Okay, I shall take your hint. Your work is greatly not that I had a choice, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I'm gonna take a break, whether I like it or not. <sighs> mm. Breaks are important. People ignore breaks all the time. So, what are we gonna get this time? Oh, I'm naked. <laughs> Completely nude. In the birth suit. Oh. What? What? Ah. What the crap? Is that? Agile? Is this a dream or is this... It looks like fragile. She said she has... Like her body is old. Why are we in the same room? And what's with the eerie music? Hmm. It's pretty cool you can see on the map thing in the background there what the sorry didn't mean to startle you you were sleeping when i dropped by thanks for the shower um welcome i i, I didn't build it myself they had one of these in, Look, in all of these places i gotta ask i've been hearing things about you about you She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another yeah. dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's Not a goddamn really. hero, that woman. What? All of the above. Yeah, it's pretty much. What does I don't remember the third one. To you? Nothing. As Wait, far as we last we were something special. talked, the glue that held he was very together. much opposed to it. More or than I a nation. didn't really care. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. Uh -huh. He was sure of it. Hmm. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Higgs made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain uh -huh. a lot from a partnership. So he went to her good. when she was at her most but then, a year ago, fragile. When those fanatics started stirring up trouble. <laughs> uh, Fuckers hijacked joke, our know. system. Somehow they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine. And I didn't even know. Hmm. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. They used was you. behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old school nuke that I ended up carrying riding to Middle Knot City. You tell me then. Yeah. It was me. I oh. blew it up. Oh. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried okay. to get the nuke out of the city. Wasn't really your fault, was it? You got tricked into it. was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. 
they don't heal. There's a pound of flesh and then some things there. Okay. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true. Except for all the lies. Um. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm okay. not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why Fair I enough. came to you. We you have your reasons. That's good. That's fine. So, I guess we have ours. Now? Damn. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call. I still think the mocap and the acting and stuff is really good in this. Um, it's like they they've managed to avoid the the worst sort of. No, no, not yet, mate. Wait, wait a moment. Okay, managed to avoid most of these sort of uncanny valley problems that games usually have. Um, and not just games or any any animations that are realistic. That's a lot of mail. Recovery request. Track down a chip with a weird symbol on it. Um, I have a favor to ask. Crater Lake near South Knot City. Some kind of a chip. You know, for data storage, had a V symbol carved into it too. Um, no one around here has ever heard of anything like that. Porter, who found it, was fixing to bring it back here for analysis, but got jumped by mules. Okay, he managed to make it out alive, just barely, but lost the chip. Uh huh. It'll be a while yet before he's back on his feet. So we can't ask him to go get it, which is where you come in, Sam. Okay. This isn't urgent or anything, but if you could fit it into your schedule somehow, I'd be grateful. Right. Um, a, a side quest, I guess. I, I, I guess I'll see about that in a minute. Mules, heroes or villains? A well, certain lot of heroes. Don't know about villains. I don't really know much about them, but. Why would they be heroes? How's that bowler gun working for you? I haven't used it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I haven't even tried it yet. Um, You can fabricate stuff. Cool. Anyway, Sam, I doled out a few of those hematic grenades you brought me to some local porters along with some blood bags. If they work as advertised, then our people might just be able to stand up to BTs could be a new beginning for the whole community. Yes, well, they worked for me. Um, we killed a regular BT, and then we also destroyed the massive giant squid, destroying dark ghost squid BT. The commencement of Evo Devo unit testing. <laughs> um, I know it can be easy. Can't be easy out there on your own. We need you to stay strong. Okay. Um, I've taken an interest in the Udra deck lately. These days, people tend to associate them with VBs or think of them as BT detectors, but they were originally designed as more all-purpose scanners for the detection of people and various objects. Seems they've undergone quite a few changes over the years. Uh huh. All right. I don't... Okay. A humble request for pizza. <laughs> um, okay. You want pizza? Why don't you see the elder? You're still out there fighting the good fight, kiddo. I tip my hat to you for that. And for bringing an old gr curmudgeon, <laughs> curmudgeon his medicine. I'm doing a whole lot better for it. 
much obliged. So in exchange for signing a contract with Bridges, I get meds and supplies delivered to my doorstep. That's no different from the deal I had with Fragile Express. And while I may not have full use of this here network of yours, I can access the red weather data and news I need to make life easier than before. All that without me having to join the UCA. So what incentive is there to do so? I'll be honest, man. Not really my first priority. Um, I guess that is kind of what I'm doing, but I'm just really trying to do the connection thing and get to my sister. And also, um, uh, what's what incentive? I don't know. None? Does it matter? Like, if you have what you need, you're happy with that. I guess that's good enough. Technically, it's it's almost the same thing. Anyway. Okay, lots of likes received. I still, you know, I guess they get you more jobs. Right, let's um do the monster drinking because we have to get the I have to get the product placement in, but this right um, increases my stamina, and so. It's necessary to do, but luckily I can skip this part or the part where, where he's, um, where he is uh, drinking it. Weapon rack. Now I actually have a weapon there, the bola gun, and some grenades. We have the bola gun here. Um. Doesn't actually kill, I think. It just knocks them over. Knocks them out. Baby's doing alright. The suit's fine. I guess we should change the make new boots, right? Oh. Do I need to shower? Probably. And skip that as well, luckily. All of these actions can be skipped now, which is good because EX grenade number zero. Okay. While um, while it's fun, um, you don't want to see all this stuff sixteen million times. Don't wink at me, crazy person. So now we got this quit here. Oh, that's freaky, man. <laughs> oh, comes to the oh, and the bike is now there. The death squid, giant squid, we killed. Um. So what are those to toys over there? That's the bike, and that's fragile. Okay. Oh, is that the moment when I, when we cr uh, crashed into her? Yeah, luckily she can teleport, because she would have been dead. We just went full pelt right into her with the bike. The original bike that I lost in the very beginning, the intro sequence. You want to go? Yeah? All right, let's go then. Mm-hmm, connect the BB. Yeah, whoa, BB, we're gonna get another memory. I don't know that we've seen this one. Remember this. Well, who's he running away from? Is that a gun? Ah. Okay. Interesting. I wonder what that was about. Hey, Sam. Dead man. Those new sites oh. you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Good. Unfortunately, that is, that's I still part, haven't part, part to of pick up anything about the BB's origins, and I'm completely locked out of BB 28 service record. If okay. I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Yeah, that would well, be important. I'll keep at it. Important. You do the same. Yep, let's keep at it. I'm sure it will Sam, eventually. Check the terminal yes. for available orders. 
I shall do that. Thank you for uh, reminding me. I, I Otherwise, I wouldn't have had any clue what to do. Like, um, so far, every time I've had to go to the terminal, but uh, this time I just knew I would I would be completely lost. So thanks. He accept mm -hmm. fragile up. He is dropping again. Yeah. It's all in your cuff logs. And with okay. the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Metal Nut uh, regional archives. Don't, the don't eavesdrop. Come on. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No yeah. reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bomb you sent out made it Good news, Sam. The Almost sounded like good day, Sam. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. The test was a success. Good. Take on orders. Fabricate equipment. Yeah, we need the new boots. Yes. Is there any weapons? We have the gun. I haven't I haven't used it once. Still want the new boots. Everything else we don't need because we didn't actually use anything new last time. We got two pairs of new boots. The the better ones. Yeah, confirm. And then we can um, attach the boot clip and then um, put on footwear. There. Um, so do I now have two? Yeah, I can drop these, the old ones. Yeah, that's not carried. That's okay. Yeah, okay. I'll just drop these. I don't need to put them in the locker. I don't, I'm never going to need them again. Crafting this doesn't require a whole lot of resources. So that's that's kind of fun because um, it's it's fun that you, you can... You're able to build stuff quite easily. Fabricate stuff. However, the roads and all that, those, those take thing, a lot Sam. of resources. So. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work is getting deliverable. Noticed. Because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. Okay. Now, it might seem like a hassle to willingly kind of take premium? on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, mm -hmm. if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower, thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try. Um. Okay, good to know. Also, I still don't know what the rep really does for me. Do I actually need it? Standard orders can be assigned to autonomous delivery bots. One order can be assigned to each bot. If all your bots already have orders, then and now orders cannot be assigned. New orders, okay. All right. Um, which one is easy? Less than fifty percent delivery mountainous. No, let's not do that. Um, this seems all right. Can I select this for the? Yep, let's accept that one for our bot and send it away. Not really sure what it does, but yeah, at least we'll probably get to hear the bot sing again. <laughs> That's good. I like uh, a bit of personality in that. That's good. So, we only have one bot, I guess. Orders for Sam. So this is the um, side quest. Cover chip. It's not far. And it doesn't seem to be in a mule zone. So I think, I think I'll do it. Why not? It seems like an easier job. So I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. I don't need anything. Sam. Sometimes our yes. reporters will return Bridges' vehicles to the garage. Okay. They're for everyone, so feel free to use them if you want. All right, but I already have, I, I already have a bike. Don't need one. So we've got the grenade. No, these are in the in the locker. 
don't need those. Blood bag. I've got the gun, got the grenades, got ladder, climbing anchor, one of each. That's good. Uh, I've got one building thing. I've got my boots, I've got my blood bags, um, power skeleton. But where's the item, the quest item? Hey. Okay. Oh no, it was a fetch. Right, I'm gonna, I have to go and get the item from the location. That's it. Order assigned. I was mistaken. Yes. Order assigned. Let's go, Sam. Porter Bridges. Have a pleasant journey. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bob. I'll just go on my bike. The baby likes when I rain. rain. The baby likes when I run. Which makes sense, because it's shaky, shaky. Not like bad shaky, you know, don't shake the baby, but like, you know, rocking, that sort of thing. Is this a generator? Yes, good. Let us like it. Oh, so it matters which side of the actual thing you, um, that, that little pad thing on the controller you press. I didn't even know that. Okay, so it seems to me that it would be hard to get there with the bike. I think we're just going to go here and use that ladder. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Put up, boom, boom. Easy living, and I've been forgiven. Oh, is it in the? It's in the crack. It's in that um, canyon that I call Crack Canyon. It is a crack. Yes, very near actually. This whole thing, which is good. It is good for me. Um, somebody's left me a rope. I shall grab the rope. And then go down. I'm assuming that's where it is, right? Is it that? It's that. It's kind of, we're kind of on the wrong side here, but does it matter? Oh, those are the baddies over there, I think. We don't want those baddies over here. We don't like them baddies at all. That's quite all right. All right, we're down. Now release the rope. All right, and then we shall go up there. I think we can climb this. Tom, <sighs> strong boy. Yes. And put it on the back. Good stuff. And then a little more carefully back down. Ah. Can I climb? Well, I just sort of jumped. I guess that's all right. All right, let's um, grab the rope. Oh, don't punch the rope. Grab it. I always punch things. Do a lot of um, shadow boxing. Or just... Oh, man, you've got strong arms. Holy crap, dude's just pulling. Now he's using his legs, but... <laughs> I am a strong boy. Holy cow. And I even dropped the rope down there this time. To the right place. Or what I reckon is the right place anyway. Let's see. Take this chip uh, back uh, to the, the city. And then we'll see what the situation is. So and then I'll take the main quest from there. And move on. So we're actually doing a side quest here and there when it makes sense and is simple enough. Just boom. Just like that. Jump! Ah. There we go. Let's leave the bike charging here. Boom. Running with my energy powered um, legs. 
My super legs. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Thank you, Bob. Bob, Bob. That's his full name. Bob. Bob, Bob. Not Bob, Bob as you think, like Bob, Bob. It's actually Bob, Bob. Yep. Dr. Bob, Bob, Bob. Yeah. Here we go. We've done the side quest. Let's see what that. Um, what so else he really has to say? Yes, I admit. It was quite easy, good actually. Good. You don't have a hat. Mm -hmm. But I guess his hat was off for me, so. It, it doesn't it doesn't really um refute that his oh, yeah. point i got something for you okay you find a use for it. let's see what is it depends quite a bit on if it's a whip maybe if it's a head then um i already i already have one these face pattern oh so this is um Oh, that's why it was V. I didn't even check what it looked like, the chip. That's that's V's chip from Cyberpunk. So we just... <laughs> okay. That's quite funny. That's good. I can equip that, right? Well, take care of yourself. Well, you take care of yourself. Good work. New order Sayonara. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Mail received from your partner, Jay. Everyone's just got names by only the first initial of the... Thank you, Sam Porter Bridges. It's so weird how they always call him by the full, full name. I will hook you up with V's face pattern. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a lot of text. Uh, I'm just... Yeah. But anyway, there are these little things related oh yeah i need to take the mission quest thing um yeah side quests i guess related to cyberpunk and then i think other things as well okay let's see cargo condition less than 50 percent damage can do that fragile cargo this cargo has low durability and can be destroyed very easily try to avoid vibration and impact I wonder what counts as vibration. Can I still ride the bike normally? Hmm. Delivery to mountainous area. This is a difficult delivery to in, in a mountainous area. Watch out for slopes and inclines. Well, yeah. That's usually what mountains kind of consist of. Are <laughs> inc inclines and slopes. Generally, you don't need to watch out for them. They're just there. But thanks anyway. Am I being a little bit too much of a smart ass? Perhaps. But okay, so we gotta be careful with this. If it's very mountainous, it doesn't look to be very far to them in the mountains though, so I think we're fine, but yeah, we're fine with just the one ladder. No, I don't need you, I already I told you so many times. Well, once. I've already got one. Um, okay, so this is the stuff. Let's load everything. Let's auto range. We'll be optimized. We've got the bowler gun. This is the mission item. Thing that breaks easily. Got smoke grenades. Got uh, pneumatic grenades. Got the building thing. Climbing anchor ladder. That's all good. New boots. Better boots, apparently. What does it say about that? An improved version of the Bridges Boots Level 1. Both durability and impact resistance have been enhanced, reducing the damage caused to both the wearer, wearer and their cargo by any bumpy landings. Okay. Bridges High Command expect these to survive even the most difficult deliveries. 
Good. Good stuff. Still have the power skeleton. Okay. We're all good. We can move on. Head out. Better out than in, I always say. Order assigned. Order assigned. Delivered to Conran Go. Gage. Ugh. Freaky sounds. This game has excellent sound design, I will say that. Really, really good. Next level good. Just. Ah. Very satisfying sound design. Huh? Bye. <laughs> oh. Bye. Oh, I forgot. Um. Love you. Oh. Well, they didn't like my <laughs> affection. You're really something, you know. <laughs> Anywho, let us save the game. Save completed. And then we need to plan our path. But I will go on the vehicle first. I do really, really like the bike. Though I don't really think the bike driving is that great. But still... Still cool to have a bike. We'll go here. That seems like there might be a decent crossing over here. Then I think down here, and this might be an all right area to go through. I have no clue, of course, but just kind of hoping, assuming. Go there, a little bit down there, and um, Maybe through there, and uh, I'll have to see when we're... Oh, it's way further away. Okay. Guess I'll have to see when we're there, if I can even, even drive. What does this say? This way, it says. Lambada. Well, it's the Half-Life sign. I guess that's also um, some DLC thing. I don't even know. I didn't buy them. I don't think so. Maybe I just got them because of... I don't know, maybe I bought some special edition in when it was on sale or something, I don't know. It says this way, so I shall go that way. If it's a trap, then, well, I guess that's just a risk I gotta take. Cross here. We'll go along this. And then this path seems alright. And then we can go to the... It's another weather station. Oh, no, wait. No, it wasn't a weather station last time. It was a power station. It was just a wind farm. Oh, that's a long distance to go. Are there any power generators? Online generators here. I can always make one myself. If I actually have the materials, I don't know. But it does also generate energy in the sun. Oh. Well. Uh. Dun, 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 dun. Let's jump over these rocks. Jump over these rocks with the bike. Big bike, 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 bike. Uh oh, there is rocks. I don't. This was not. A <laughs> this was not a good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I already forgot. Yeah. <laughs> don't give the um. Yeah, the cargo was extra special, fragile. And um, yeah, I was supposed to take special care. Let's go, let's go, come on. Yep. Okay, here. Wow, this is some pretty tricky terrain. If anyone's watching. What is this sound? Oh, rain. Oh no, that's not a good thing. Because um rain makes the thing corrode faster. And um if it's extra special easy What the heck? What happened? Is this BT's? What happened? Oh, I guess it is. Eh, behind me. I don't like them BT's. Oh, I didn't mean to go that far. This bike works so strangely. Oh, it's right there. I shouldn't have gone that way. Okay, so we cannot, we cannot go through here. 100% have to go away right now. But there's a path here. Okay, so let's go through here. 
I think we're alright. I think the BTs are gone. BTs aren't that scary anymore. Oh, well, they're a little scary if they're like that over there. What do I do? Can I leave the bike and then sneaky, sneaky like? Or do I go around? I'm already that close? I guess I could go back down. Go further down. Was there a generator here? Is it that one? No. There's a generator over there, but that's far away. So if I go a little further down, because this is this looks like a dead end with the BTs and stuff, and then go there. So I'll try that because there's no way I can go just through them. Through the BTs right there. They're definitely blocking my path. So let's try a different route. Have to be able to adapt. Oh. Um. Oh. Hang on a second. Well, somebody just followed and I missed it. I'm just going to pull it up because I need to need to say. Just a second. I'm going to check a few things. And here we are, and I will go to here, Yan C44. Thanks for the follow, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, Yan C, it's me, Eva. Okay, thanks, Yan C, appreciate it. Um, missed it for a second, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave it like that, so. Definitely deserve to be mentioned. Alright, so this seems like a, a choice I made. Seems like a decent choice. Because now the BTs are gone. There's a massive bridge over there. I think I can sneak through here. Yep. Hey, Jan. Um, thanks really, mu <laughs> really much. Really <laughs> much? Thanks very much for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate it. How are you going? Love this game? Yeah, actually, me too. I, I, this is, what is it? What's the title say? Day four or day three? Day four, maybe? Yeah, I think it's getting better. Um, like, the further I've gone, the more I like it. You played through it? Oh, well, that's not... Maybe I should go back to the... There is a bridge there. I, sh I should use it. Let us use that bridge over there, if I can find my way to it. Yeah, Jan, Jan you played through the whole game yourself, or just bits of it? I have no clue how far along I am. Maybe like a third? Yeah, this bridge, whoever made this, thank you. And there's a power station here. They've put music there, too. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of cool. Oh, let me like this. We need to like. Oh. Definitely need to like this bridge. There you go. Thanks, uh, rogue rodent. I like that aspect, too. That um, Like, technically, Jan, if you did something in this game... I could possibly find it and, and it could be helpful to me. Um, yeah, that's a cool, cool aspect. Let me just see this route again. I'll remove all markers because they were all rubbish. But we're pretty close. Um, this, this arrow here that said, oh. Hey, Riv. Rivsh. Is it Riv or Rivsh? Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go through here. 
Um, and then here. Yeah, this should be okay. Just using this path, it seems like it, it might be all right. I'm not sure. But as we did before, we can improvise. Reeve, both are uh, Reeve, both are okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and you like to see the gameplay. So you haven't played, I assume, then, or... Yeah, it's really unique. That's what I like about it. They didn't make it for everybody. They didn't try to, like, appeal to every uh, everyone around the world, you know? Um, they made their own game. That's it. So this sign here kind of put me off... Um, draw, drew me right into um, BT territory. So somebody did a sneaky on me. <laughs> Which is also kind of a fun aspect. How's your, um, how's you guys' night, night going? Have a, had a good week so far? Weekend ahead soon. I don't know what game this is, but love the cute raccoon. <laughs> okay, it's a tanuki. Yes, uh, basically a Japanese raccoon. Um, this game is Death Stranding. It is Kojima. Uh, who did the Metal, Metal Gear games, the older ones at least. I don't know if there's a... I think he was involved to an extent with the newer one as well, the new one, but not entirely. So, <laughs> it's an interesting one because it's kind of like, um, what the heck is that? Kind of a weapon? It's basically you're delivering stuff in this game. <laughs> but, um... But it's got so much other things, very strange things going on around it. And obviously it's it's quite pretty if you look at this. Um, yeah, excellent graphics, but really cool storytelling. Super creative. A little bit weird stuff. Delivering to who? Um, well, it's um, post-apocalyptic United States, basically. Where um, the dead and the living are sort of coexisting. And basically the human human contact has been destroyed. So we're basically connecting different stations and cities, trying to sort of re-establish society. Uh, that, that would be my synopsis. I don't know if that gives it justice or not. But then there are these dead creatures. You see all those black kind of gassy things? Those are sort of the BTs. Those are the dead kind of creatures. Um... Everything's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and really, it's it's very creative and and kind of dark and and weird. Yeah, and I like this game because of Norman Reedus. Yeah, it's it's really funny. I I think um, Norman Reedus, all the mocap and acting in this is excellent, and um, they've really done Norman really well here. I'm saying Norman as if I know him, but we made it. So we were really ghost to those dead creatures who try to pull you into their world and they're just like, yeah, weird stuff. And I have, um, um, Riv, since you don't know or haven't seen maybe, I've got this baby. It's in that tank. I've got a baby <laughs> who can be attached to a radar that shows me where the, the, the sort of the dead ghosts are. And helps me avoid them, I guess. Well, here we're delivering stuff. It's kind of weird because it's it's based on yes, a literal baby. Um, it's called the BB. Basically, um, their baby is from what's it called? Still mothers, mothers who did, who died at childbirth, I guess. And so that's why the babies are con kind of in between the two worlds. A fetus, yeah, you're right. Um. So they're like stuck in between, or they can sense both worlds. Really kind of creepy stuff, but um, also interesting <laughs> and unique. But the baby is actually quite funny and, and yeah, important. So we were uh, bringing this here to connect, like now we, we're connecting new stations to the network. It's Hello. called now the Sanford United Sanford. Cities We've of America. The gauge Thank you. Going to save a lot of lives. Let Good. Me do a quick inspection. Well, you go ahead and do that. Oh, wonderful. Oh. It's in perfect condition. 
Is it? It was it was a pretty rough ride. I didn't really take good care of it, but I'm glad to hear it. the bike makes that a lot easier. Yeah, Norman Reed is great in this, and and there's a bunch of other actors as well and actresses like um, Mads Mikkelsen is in this. Appears to be the baby's father. Uh, Rivers, you don't have to understand it very well. The creator doesn't understand it very well, too. So, great job. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm getting more likes in this game than in real life. So, that's that's fun. <laughs> um, Once you connect us to the network, we'll be able to share our measurements with everyone. Yeah. Mind doing the honors? Right, so now this thing is... Because Norman Reedus' character here, he's like a special character. It's kind of... He can re be reborn. So he's got some minor special powers. And somehow that allows... There's the BB, you can see it. But that allows him to do this connection stuff and retrieve, like, old data from human history. Which we've lost. Those tags, somehow... Yeah, so you can see now we've connected all these areas here. Um, oh. Well, we are pretty far along, aren't we? Um, this is not really, like, America to scale. It sort of reminds America a little bit. But I guess it's some kind of a weird version of it. But we're quite far along. The weather station has joined the United Cities of America. Uh, okay, we got a better version. And you can craft things, and there's some weapons, and... Um, it's a longer one? You mean the game? Yeah, it's it's a pretty long one, I think. I think I'm... I don't actually know. I have no clue. Am I halfway through, or something like that? But this is day four of this game, so... Um, um, okay, new interview. Yeah, I don't... I, I kind of, I'm trying to play through the story more than, I'm not doing a completionist run, so I'm kind of, maybe it's, maybe you could call it rushing, but I try not to rush, but I, I try not to do too many side things, um, because I do want to get through the story, especially when streaming. Um, local data, ba -bum, okay, cool. Timefall shelter, that's cool. So, time, oh yeah, and then there's rain in this game that makes you older. So, so like the rain in this game is actually time fall. So if it touches you, it makes that part of your body all age really fast. Uh, have you ever played Beyond Two Souls? That's a really good game. Mm, Beyond Two Souls sounds so familiar. What? Which one's that? Um, no, no, the country. Oh, <laughs> this America, the America, yeah. Uh, United C Cities of America is, um, it, it's still pretty big, but it's not to scale. Definitely not to scale. <laughs> um, Beyond Two Souls sounds so familiar. That's not with the monkey, no. With, what is that? Um, I'm going to pull that up and check. Just because I want to, I want to know what you're talking about. Beyond Two Souls. Is that the space kind of sci-fi? No, I'm definitely making that up. All right, well, I, I will check that out. Because um, it's not something I think I've played. And uh, if you're saying it's good and it seems to have good reviews, then that might be worth checking out. You can almost listen to his brain working hard to remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's uh but I don't think my brain ever works that hard though. It's just kind of in a constant non-stop um chill mode or maybe it's full capacity for me but yeah. Anyway, I'm we're sure not connected to this zone which also allows us to see that. other We're players structures and things like that that they've built to help go back, through the terrain. The so it's been tough to measure Chirillium levels and predict timefall. But okay. thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. 
Now let us do the same for you. Good. We did a good job. Down, I promise. Take care. Okay. Thank you. You too. I see oh, you, you got again. The weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. Okay. There's a significant impact on Tyrellium levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, right. the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the chiral network... Ah, I see. The, so this weather station oh, is not just like a random point. It will actually help us for the rest of the game. That's pretty cool. So like Check when you link You'll these see. things up. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not They'll actually help us. Elliot Page He's was in it. Processing those orders, and you'll put that region on the grid. Ellen Page, now. yeah. Luck, oh yeah, Sam. he 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 did that Good thing work, anyway. Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up, and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the chiral network now, yourself included. You can uh -huh. access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Good. So. Good work. Some help with the route plotting. For further information. So there's our progress. We've linked quite a few places already. We started all the way to the east coast. Made us, made made, made our ways here. So yeah, beyond. Okay, Elliot Page did did it um have like um. Is that the thing where where she's like connected to? Is it like a like her brother or something? I don't know. I think I've seen the beginning of that game. Uh, or played the demo where you were like in a interrogation room. And kind of flying around as that other thing. Is that the game? I think it might be. Let's take a new order then. Orders for Sam. Construction safe house. I think we're just going to go with the... Timefall farm. Moving on. Anything to know? Deliver four pieces. If you do not deliver the required amount, the order will be considered a failure. Okay. I don't think that's a problem. We're, we're delivering seeds to the Timefall farm. I wonder if, um, if the Timefall makes plants grow faster. So basically, technically that could help with food and stuff, couldn't it? Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, we'll take this, that's selected, okay, that's fine. Accept order, um, yes, that's one, okay. We've added a timefall shelter option Yeah, I'm definitely PC. interested in that. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Um, you played it through, Jan, then, have you? Well, you said it's, you love that game, so probably. It's true that in this game... To do P to the monster and they die. <laughs> um, yeah, you can throw your poo and P kind of when when you when you do their business in your restroom, then they take samples from it and then they create like uh, they they create um, grenades that you can throw at the monsters or the ghosts. So it's true, but it's not like you actually pee proper <laughs> or take poo and fling it at them. But, um, yeah, technically, that's what it is. Uh, Raves, um, do you have any usual hour to stream? I've, it, the schedule is on the page. Um, on the, on the, it's, it's all there. Uh, I have a schedule. I stick to it pretty much. Sundays are, um, kind of more random from now on. Um, I, I mean, the time's always the same, but, um, more random games. And then... What day is today? Thursday? Tuesdays, Thursdays are Death Stranding, Wednesday, Friday, currently Final Fantasy IX, Sunday, random games. And then we'll, um, I'll kind of go from there, I guess, you know, suggestions are always welcome. Like, now we've got one with, um, I already forget the name, but, uh, Beyond Two Souls, I think it was. Okay, so let's put this stuff on our back. I think that's okay. And this is kind of like part of the game as well to see where you carry stuff. But I, I, I'll try and find, maybe I'll try and find a couple of BTs to show you if you're still going to stay for that rave. Um, they're pretty, 
pretty cool ghosty type things. We got everything. That's all good. Yeah. Let's go then. Okay, so the schedule's there and um, the start time is same, the same every time. Um, it should be in your time zone. Order assigned. If you go and check um, on the about page. Oh. Yep, gotta go, man. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thank you. Kindly. I said that. I, I pressed the button to say that. Um, I'll stay. It's worth it. Yeah, I'll try and see. I'll try and see if I can find some. Actually, I need to just quickly see where Weather I'm going. Can now be viewed by. Should come in handy okay. when you're on the road. Yeah, weather forecast is useful, but I will be going there. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, it's so far. Okay. Well, then <laughs> I'm sure there's some BTs along the way because uh, those ghosties because um, um, this is a long ways away, actually. Creepy farm. Let's see how creepy it is. Um... I could maybe throw some grenades at them. Where are they? You can sometimes see them. Like those. You see those things? I guess I could just, for content, go and actually go at them. Although that's risky, but I might die, but we'll see. Oh. Yeah, the bike riding is not great in this game it's not like the <laughs> the best physics but it's good enough for what it is um oh well then i can see you while i study all right cool um what's that sound oh was that for bts might be so yeah it's quite a pretty game in my opinion anyway um, it looks pretty good. Um, so we came from that direction, and they were over here. So I'm going, I'm going here. That this is where they were before. So let's see if they're still there, just to show you what they kind of look like. And let us see if I can find find some of them. There's also um, I don't know what that is, but there's also some like bad guy porters who are just humans but they um they, they attack you as well let me cross this bridge i'm just going back where i came from really i'm risking my life just to show these things that's quite fine let's charge the bike quickly so this is somebody else someone else built this in their game Hello. and it i can't i can't actually see people this is not online in that sense, but uh, we share some things, which is pretty cool. So like I said before, if one of you guys were to go and play this and build something, then you might, or you might go and play and you might actually find some stuff that I've built and put in the game. Although I don't know how, how it works in terms of servers and instances. So it might be tricky to actually get somebody specific to get your okay tough terrain yeah i'm going where they were last so where i saw them last that's where i'm going it was up there let's see how this goes yep yeah now it triggers this it's basically telling me they're nearby and this radar thing is connected to my the baby who's right there <laughs> or the fetus and then um, it shows me where the nearest one is pretty creepy I'll just actually get off this bike for this and then you have to sort of sneak around them but I'll just go go to them in, in this case. And actually, I could try and 
Do I have any grenades? Yeah, I can try and kill one. In the beginning, you can't kill one, but then they do the research on your your dumps and your pee and all that. Oh, well, there's one. Oop. So those things, and then they kind of pull you under. Where'd it go? It was right here. Is it still there? I just can't see it, or what? Oh, yeah, it's there. Ooh. Is it dying? Did I kill it? I think so. Oh. It's still going. I think I killed it. There's another one. I'll show you what happens when I get to <laughs> OMG. Yeah. I'll show you what happens when you don't sneak. So they kind of send these things. And now they're trying to pull me under into the world of the dead. I think. Like this. You can see those kind of people. See them? Kind of grabbing me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I lost my... I actually have to... I lost my <laughs> cargo. I gotta take it. Alright. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, pretty... Um, especially in the beginning, it was really scary. And very creepy. I think um, when you get a little more used to it, it's... Uh, <laughs> and you can see the handprints. Look... Because they grabbed me, you can see them all over the the back of the of the um, the cargo. Did I lose my cargo or did I pick it up? I'm just gonna check. But yeah, in the beginning, I couldn't even throw grenades or anything. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it was so creepy. I, also, I have highlighted a clip where I fight like a really big one, um, like a mo giant squid type thing. So you can go and check that out on the channel as well. Uh, so yeah, the seeds are here. The cargo is all fine. <laughs> but yeah. Um, there's other things as well. You can see the bike's all rusty now because we've been in the time fall so long. Like I said, the time fall like, makes you age faster. Okay, let's try and deliver this cargo then. But yeah, there you go. I showed you. Oh, are they still here? No. Okay. Good. Um, and this is something other people have left behind again. Let me just see where I have to go because I'm I'm pretty much lost at this point. I think I'll go here and then go to the generator, and you you can create the routes like here and then follow it. Here, the generator, and then there was a bridge somewhere. And um, yeah, we'll keep going south. What about that? Is great view. Okay, let's go and see the great view. So these signs are uh, placed by other people, other players. There's another generator. That's good because the battery runs out on the bike. So they're they're left. Um, they're put there by other people. So I think. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, as well. Sort of... Um, kind of unintrusive multiplayer in a way. But, um, I will say that I sometimes kind of wish that... Oh! That some of the stuff wasn't there because I think you can actually control that, but it gets a little easier too easy the sound plays with here and they put the music singing singing <laughs> playing and everything pretty cool anyway let's move on but streams start every day every um every time the same time they um there's one stream that ends a little earlier one hour earlier i think that's um is it Tuesday night? Honestly, I'm so bad, I can't remember my own schedule. But it's there on the channel. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, no. Okay, I didn't want to cross this bridge. I just saw a bridge and I was like, yeah, let's cross it. No, no, no. That's not right at all. But yeah, freaking scary, that stuff. 
What's the most beautiful place in this game? Well, so far, I'd say in the beginning, the world in the beginning, this is like a different area from the very beginning. So, um, in the very beginning, there was like this very sort of Scottish a glen, this kind of canyon type area. That was pretty cool. <laughs> the less scary one. <laughs> yeah, um, those were quite nice looking areas, but there... Ah, there's also quite nice areas here where there's um, kind of New Zealand, you know, Lord of the Rings type stuff going on with the snow-capped mountains over there. You can see them. Actually, all the game is fantastic. I love the graphics. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, I can't lie. I'm, I've been kind of in awe of the... And it's not just the graphics. It's, it's just the kind of... Um, level design, I guess. W would that make sense? I think that might make sense. May make sense. The fetus thing is amazing. Yeah, it was. And sometimes when you, like, when you die and you can be reborn, it like shows the fetus in. In I, I don't know. It kind of shows like you're being born from your. This is a very. This is lots of like really kind of weird stuff this game but i like it because okay great view here okay let's go there then but i like it because it's unique you know i guess this would be a great view okay let's just have i broken my bike is it broken yet careful let's not fall <laughs> fall down wow i didn't I had no clue this was such a yeah that is pretty good what do you guys think? No, the bike's fine. I was just... Oh, what? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so you know when, I, when you asked what's the prettiest place? Um, this this is a pretty good one. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty good, I would say. The waterfall. Nice. And our good old Norman, there's a reverse um, reverse rainbow, which is actually not good in this this game, because um, that means BTs, which is those ghost monsters. Yeah. Really pretty. The bike looks kind of rough, eh? Yeah, even a rainbow, yeah. A reverse rainbow, not just a normal one there. But, um, yeah, like I said, that's a bad thing, actually. We don't like that. Oh, OMG, that is beautiful. You mean the bike? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so beautiful. No, I know, I know what you mean, yeah. But <laughs> I don't know where to go. Uh, this is clearly not the good, right route. There's a massive cliff there, so I can't go through there. I think I gotta stay up. And maybe, maybe I can get through somewhere there. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. So I'll just keep, stay, stay here. <laughs> Up here. Maybe go. I think this might be a path to go down. And then I can rejoin my, my original path. So let's keep going. Yeah, also you gain health if you lose health in this game you gain gain it back by eating eating tardigrades or i don't know what they're called in this cairo what was it cairo something i need to fix this bike it's not doing well uh, this looks like I'm, I'm straying off my route but this looks a little better Okay. Well, I just came back to the same. All right. But see these snow-capped mountains here? That's pretty cool as well, isn't it? Just kind of imagine... Um, I don't know, some kind of fancy... Fancy movie. Or show. Ooh. The river there. That bike is already trying so hard. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Look at it. It's a. Uh, it's um. Well, it went through quite a bit of time fall. Not rainfall, time fall. So I think that's probably where the problem was. I'm assuming this is the way down. Yeah, this seems to be an all right route. Where am I from? Um, I don't. Um, I'm, I'm from. Um, um, where am I from? I'm from Tanuki Forest. <laughs> Sorry to be cryptic. Uh oh, we've been found. Uh oh, crap. Oh yeah, those guys. I don't want those guys. Those guys, those are the bad guys. I need to charge a little bit, but we need to get out of here. Yeah, those are the sort of they, they're sort of parsers as well, but they like scavenge and steal things and try and kill me. But we can go faster. Where are they? What is it? All these sounds. We get a very good move on. Oh, there's one of their cars or vans. Oh, crap. I have loads of energy in this bike left, though, because I just charged, so I think we're okay. Um, this is the farm. Are we hidden? There they are. But they wouldn't come here, would they? That's the bad guys. Uh, I can't really show. Gotta get off the bike to show you. They've got those um, strange-looking vehicles. And they're they're kind of always after me and scavenging things and whatever. So the areas are marked by these posts. And then there's like a... Well, anyway... Um, let's see, where is, yeah, that's the place we're trying to get to. Um, where are you guys from then? No, no pressure though. Don't need to be exact. Bring me my time fall, partner. This looks pretty bad. But I think here I hopefully can build me a repair spray a box <laughs> all right <laughs> mexico all right man must be nice and warm there is it am i wrong Oh yeah, let's make the delivery. I think we're we're linking this place. All cargo's ready. Okay, confirm. Bring South Knot City onto the chiral network. Yeah. We did one more. We're getting great progress this time. Thank you. Bridges has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm. Emily is my sister, or uh, Norman Reedus' sister network. in this game. Let's have a look at that witch. Who is trapped on the. I'm from Hobbiton. Oh, yeah. New Zealand, eh? All right. Well, I'll be. Did you really bring us That's this? That's pretty much? cool. How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Well, everybody's so kind to me in this game. Um. Right, delivery completed, getting loads of likes again. Got a song, connection level is three, almost four stars now. Uh, I mean, almost full three stars. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm from Mexico. Both from Mexico, eh? Mexico. I don't know if that's, is that rude to say Mexico or is that right? Is that, uh, don't know much Spanish. Just the basic, you know. Como estas? 
that stuff. Um, una bandera rosa, por favor. That kind of thing. <laughs> Which I learned as a kid because there was like an ice cream called Pink Panther. And I needed to order that. So. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know Panther, <laughs> would you? If you see her, <laughs> That's really good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Not a huge vocabulary, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> So they're talking about this character's sister, who did the original linking of these, trying to connect of these, and then that went wrong, and now she's, I think, held captive on the west coast somewhere, and we're trying to get to her. Um, you have really good pronunciation. Okay. Um, well, that's nice. Nice to hear. Um, honestly, should should learn more Spanish because it's it's really useful. Spoken so widely, Spanish, some some kind of Chinese, and then English, maybe French, and you're pretty 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 well off after that. Um, that's what I meant to. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. That's I really appreciate that. That's that's nice. Um, Timefall Farm has joined the United Cities of America. Cool. Um, so new feature has been added been to Audra Deck, which is which is the Chicago. like the radar right. scanner thing. Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Oh, cool. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor. And cancel okay. out their pulse with your own. Oh, and nice. Wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing that is really help. important. Because I hate that when it happens, you get to their zone, um, the mule's zone, which is like the, I guess, the bad porters, the bad guys. You get to their zone and they immediately ping you. They scan you, they find you, and then they come after you. And there's nothing you can do about it, really. But now, apparently, my scanner... If I, uh, there's going to be like a mini game, I guess, or quick, quick time event, which if I time it right, they won't know where I am, which is hugely important, or at least nice to have, if nothing else. So this area is now connected, which is great. Oh, thank you. You're now welcome. We start really using time fall to our advantage. Yes. Our so yeah, they're doing what I was thinking about was if time fall makes things grow older faster than you could farm things really fast can't you but now we've got the weather station connected and use time fall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, okay, maybe good. we'll even stumble into some answers about the time fall while we're at it. A bit we of dialogue. For us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sarah. It's good. You always need to be up for a challenge. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. Very few things in life come easy. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. This is one of our it. sort of not bosses, huh. but Well would you look at that? You've only just brought the time fall His name is Die Hard Man. Orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Ah, oh, thank you. Why is there a sign that says don't pee here? Why? <laughs> So if that sign is there, I think that means that we got to try try peeing here. How do I pee again? I can drink monster energy drink. Gives my stamina and health and all that stuff. But I don't know how to pee. Sorry. Yeah, I can't find. Well, I'm just curious why why people would say that. This is somebody else put a sign here saying don't pee here. Um, yeah, this is the content that everybody's after, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> um, 
Um, yeah, do we... Is there a rest... Do I have a... No, I don't... I can't rest here. But I can make equipment. I, I need... Congratulations, Sam. Thank you. Your for what? Leveled up, so to oh, speak. thanks. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Mama. Sam, I've added a yes. safe house schematic to your PCC. Okay. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But okay. once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. Okay, so I can build that anywhere. That's pretty useful, actually. Uh, what do you want to learn in Spanish? So, like, casual sign, do not pee. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, uh, what do you want to learn in Spanish? Hmm. You mean right now? Hmm, let's see. What do I know? I know, um... Rojo. It's red. Right? Toro. Hmm. Red Bull. Rojo Toro. I shouldn't say it, because this game is only monster... Monster Energy. <laughs> they have such weird product placement in this one. Um, how about, um, what time is it? How do you ask what time is it? Um, yeah, I have no idea what, what, what time even is um, in Spanish. So, let's get safe house. The foundation of the safe house, which provides the same underground facilities as a private room. Once materials are added to complete the construction, it can be uh, it can be used to rest, shower, and perform fragile jumps. Materials required for completion. Loads of materials, basically. Okay. A floating carrier. Is a kind floating of carrier. Tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to be heated over rough terrain. Hora. Oh, like hour. What hour is it? Is that basically what that means? If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go. So wait, floating tractor. So que hora es? Hora. Is it hora or hora? Do you say the H? Que hora es? Just saying that Yank is screaming so much in my chat because of Rojo Toro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's nice. Is that... That's Red Bull, right? Um... Anyway. A floating tractor cart that travels largely unimpeded over rough terrain. Right, okay. Carriers. I see what I... Uh, so it's like a platform I can kind of take with me to take cargo over rough terrain easier but it used chiralium to float expand chiral crystals okay um yes it is eh so is it que hora or que hora she's still screaming que hora es or que hora es I don't know. I guess we'll we'll find out. Don't pronounce the H. Okay, so que hora es? Es? Uh, I really don't know the any even the basics. So it's always easier to actually learn. Yes. Okay. It's always easier to learn when when there's when you can have voice and then repeat after somebody. Even though then you get to that. You say something and people are like, um, yeah, no, that's not it. And then they say it and then you hear it and you just say, but that's exactly what I said. Anyway, Spanish is actually hard. Um, yeah, it, it's it, any new language I feel like is, is fairly difficult, but yeah, sure. Um, I think Spanish, especially like those things, which the H is mute, H is right. Yeah. So exactly those things like which which are silent and which aren't. Okay, do I need this floating carrier now? 
Uh, they can also be used as a mode of transport and up to two can be joined together. So I can actually use this, these things as sort of like a floating ship. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so I guess I had to build one of these, right? Probably. And probably should build one of these as well, right? Why not? Build one of everything. Can you say Kale? Or Chale? Kale? Chale? Which one? <laughs> or is it neither? Both are wrong. That's probably my... That's my guess. Both are wrong, what I said. Um... What am I doing here? See, so, yeah, I'm gonna build these. Okay, confirm. It's like a chalet. Okay, chalet. It's right, the second one. Chalet, chalet, chalet. Is it a hard chalet or chalet? I guess chalet, since that's what you. Is that what you what you typed? Muy bien. Excelente. Um, right. PCC, we built that. Fa fabricate. Yes, let's fabricate. Now we've got some new equipment. We need to... I, I'll just load. I don't know how to load this optimally, so I use the auto-arrange thing. So, now I've got... Oh, look at that bike. That's in terrible shape. Excellent. Um, yeah, that bike's seen better days, hasn't it? Well, anyway. Um... Hey, thanks for teaching me Spanish. <laughs> okay, now let's keep with the game. Insert Duolingo finished lesson sound. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, it's... Look, learning languages, I think, is one of the best things you can do in life. Well, that's maybe a bit over the top. But it is so eye-opening and useful. But I, I really think it's a, it's a good thing to do. And it's such a sort of easy thing you can do to expand your ability to communicate. Um, so yeah, we have this. Floating carrier, I've got that, but I need to get the crystals. Got this gun that this gun doesn't actually kill anything, but I need to Right, yeah, I need to make I need to build the I need to build some stuff. Can I fabricate a repair yeah, repair spray. This is what I need. Probably need two. I need to repair the bike. Yeah, let's just... Actually, let's carry by hand. Right hand. Don't think that matters, honestly. Okay, so... I've got this in my hand, but I need to actually equip it, so... Um, let's equip this one. Right, so now I've got this. Ha! Ha! I've got this spray that I can use to fix things. Ha! Anyway, so I can fix this. Oh, is it raining? I better take this inside. It's gonna dis. It's gonna be destroyed. Otherwise, can I actually take it inside? I don't think you're supposed to, but what if I want to? No vehicles allowed. All right. Well. We're under. Yeah, that's okay. And this cursor always comes back. Anyway, so huh, this uh, spray, and now I can fix things, right? It fixes cargo at least. Does it, does it not fix the bike? Do I just need to build a new one? It seems like it doesn't. It doesn't actually fix the bike. Well. Ah, whatever. You are powerful now, yeah. <laughs> the bike is saved. Well, it doesn't seem to have fixed it. Uh, <laughs> it's not, yeah. I don't know what happened. I guess maybe, maybe I just need to make a new one. But how do I drop this? Um, yeah, this is empty. I'll drop it. 
There we go. And the can became a um, contain um, container. So where are we going? What is our quest mission thing? Oh, I've got mail. Thomas Sutherland. Bring me my time fall, Porter. Thanks for delivering the delivery bots. Okay. I uh, heard you were headed to that time fall farm down the way. Don't know if you heard, but rumor has it they've been brewing beer. Maybe even using time fall to speed up the process. Ah, uh, that's too much. Okay. Bre beer sounds pretty good. Probably these guys would really appreciate it. There was also a mission to take somebody pizza. The bike is just so dead. Yeah, probably a new one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seems like it won't survive very long. Um. So I had orders. I need to probably need to take orders from here. So here we go then. Um, claim materials? No, I don't need materials right now. Let's take an art. Okay. So do I have orders that I just missed? Sorry guys, I've been a little bit... Um, been a little bit um, focused on other stuff, so I may have missed something here. Let's, let's see. Materials delivery metals to... From wind farm to... Well, that's way back when. It's not even here. This is a different map. Yeah. So, I don't actually have any orders. So, I actually know really what to do then. Um, I guess I'll take an order here. Time fall porter. So yes, I should take the beer to, to the guy who was asking for it, I guess. Let's do that. Thomas Sutherland needs a drink. So what's next? That's what's next, I guess. And then I think the story will probably continue after that. But I think this is just something I have to do before I can get... Before I can get, um, before I can move forward, I think we're okay with everything here. Although I, I can't actually build a new bike either. Boom. No, let's not cancel. Let's accept. The, the UI can be a little bit confusing at times. Okay, so now we're choosing where we carry the, the beer. Um, I guess on my back, why not? And then also arrange everything. Okay, so I put it in a better place. This doesn't seem very, um, ergonomic. <laughs> you know, it seems like, um, this guy would have massive, um, back issues in a couple of years time. Okay, let's head out. Order assigned. Indeed. And it's raining. Um, let's try and use the bike. Should be okay, hopefully. But we do need to plan our routes first. Um, so we... Okay, it seems we have to go through there. This is the bad guy's zone, so we have to go through that... I guess we'll go to the generator and then just go. Um, that was their camp, though, wasn't it? I think we might want to use the. You know what? Scratch that. Let's go along the road. There's a person in real life can haze all that. Uh, I'll have all that in their back. I don't think. I mean. I guess it's possible, but I don't think it would be very good for their weight. I mean, there are people who are ridiculously strong, of course. 
but um but yeah I, I really doubt that would I think that might um that might make their um life later on a little bit troublesome when they're older you know all right let's get through this zone quickly before they attack me Where, where's my where did i put my oh there it is yeah i think you would suffer some pretty serious back injuries I don't know, maybe this, this amount isn't too much yet. Okay, jump. Can't jump, alright. I think we're fine there. They didn't even notice us. Oh. There we go. Ow. Okay. And what was the route back up? Okay, so that looks like something near Hobbiton, doesn't it? It's your home. Oh no, there's ghosts. Um, probably somewhere along the way, but not right here. Well, now the bike's working better. Yeah, it seems all right, but it's just really rusty. I think that might be a cosmetic thing. Maybe it doesn't actually affect the bike's effectiveness. Maybe it's just, um, you know, because the time fall, they had to make it seem like it's um, it gets older. And so this is what they did. I might be wrong. But it seems to work fine. Battery is almost halfway through. Oh, someone's built a bridge here. Thank you. So this is... This was built by some other player. So like I was saying before... Um, if you guys were playing, basically, you, you might see some of my structures, or, or vice versa. Um, Breathe. I'm going to take a bath. I'll be back before the bike explodes or something. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your bath. Have a good time. And thanks for stopping by to begin with. Catch you in a minute, maybe. Let's see. There's so many bridges. Look at all these bridges. All right, but I'm a master bicycle rider. I can go really fast, really far. And um, do I need to cross? I, I have to check the map. Oh, there's a generator there. I could use that. And then I'm kind of almost halfway through to where I'm going so not bad actually it always seems much longer from in this map than it then feels like when you're right there which you would almost imagine it would be the other way around if you consider consider the ow <laughs> maybe not such a masterful rider after all anyway um if you consider the bts and the all that stuff Yeah, that arrow there was pointing up, but I'm pretty sure the BTs are up there. Somebody's playing with you. Alright. Rough terrain, this. Not easy. But look, the man needs their beer. Gotta get them their beer. Okay, so here we go. I got a mail. Let's just briefly read it oh couple of rebuild the roads rebuild america yeah i know but it takes so much um it takes so much um why was my brain like this i can't finish sentences it takes so many resources chop chop sam people get tired of waiting what dude i'm bringing you beer in the middle of ghosts and and, and 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 bad guys bad porters and, and mules and, and time fall that makes you die sooner and maybe don't complain do you know what i mean um yeah it seems so long i would like to go to the place and in, in the game without the ghost of course yeah <laughs> um 
Yeah, definitely. This will be a nice place. Well, you can get to a similar place. I'm sure there's some somewhere in Mexico that's maybe not like this, but you know, this maybe looks a little bit more unnatural overall. Is that a bad zone? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Well, okay then. Good. Um, okay, we got about have to go back to the generator and then up. Yeah, but definitely the first zone in some of these places, there are similar places. Um, the first area in this game looks very much like Scotland, and this second area looks a little bit like New Zealand to me. That's what I think, anyway. Though I'm not sure. I'm, not an expert. I'm sure they're inspired by real locations. But yeah, without the ghosts, definitely. Don't need the ghosts. Necessarily. Here we go. Alright, let's go through this area. All this slaloming along. Oh yeah, I remember this place. You have to jump over this. Come on. Go. Ah, go. Come on. There we go. Took a while, but... Yeah, and then here... That seems alright. Likers get liked. Okay. So I'll, I'll try and follow this... This route here. Maybe this way. And then around here. Yeah, I, I'll try and move the story forward as soon as I can. As soon as it gives me the option, I'll move it forward. Because the story is quite cool. And it's um, it's very creative. The, or the creative direction is really, really, really nice. And, and just incredible cutscenes and things like that so i will do that as soon as i'm able to okay i went a little early just make a little marker here so i know where, where to go but um i think i need to take this beer to the feller who's asking for it first before i can move forward in the story this seems like a good place to cross likey likey all right. Ride a bike on this smooth, rare smooth area. Faster. Oh. Uh, so I wonder what would be the best way to go through. It kind of seems like here and here and somewhere there i don't know <laughs> let's see so yeah it doesn't seem like a good route at all but anyway that would be amazing what's this music look at this ah oh, beautiful pretty game it is not gonna lie is that actually it almost looks like the the um um the the clouds cast shadows but probably not still looks very cool this game points wow yes here we have a charging station we can recharge the bike Maybe we'll take it back in storage. Verify my ID. Hello, hello. How is it going? OMG, that's a really beautiful place. Yeah, it's... Ah, they're all over the place in this game, honestly. <laughs> so many pretty places. Alright then. Let's get you your beer.
Make delivery. Deliver requested cargo. Fragile. Was it fragile? I didn't even notice. Well, hope it's hope it's intact. Man's got to get his beer. Apparently. I can understand if it's been decades or whatever. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, Looks good as new. My all right. Empty. You don't have a hat. Again, you just... Okay, well... Right, delivery completed. So many likes. Amazing. Next. Porter grade is 64, master handler. I don't actually know what this means, honestly. Not really sure. Um, I guess the the fuller all these things are, uh, the further you are in the game. That's what I'm assuming. Thank you, sir. You too. Good work. New order available. Thank you. Please access all delivery right. terminal for further information. Ling Ding Yang delivered materials. Oh, there's so many deliveries. Are these other players or, or are they AI? Hmm, says um, Norman Reedus. I was wondering about Norman Reedus's name for ages uh, in, in The Walking Dead. Couldn't remember it. Uh, Jan, um, I had to go to sleep, but I'll be back in the next stream. Have fun and a good night. Bye bye. All right. Have a good sleep. Good night, Jan. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's been fun. Um, what's good night in Spanish? Hmm. I don't know. Should know. Buenas noches. Yeah. There we go. Ah, ribs back. But I did. I did remember just before you typed it in. <laughs> Let that be known. All right, but good, uh, have a good night, Jan. Buenas noches. <laughs> so glad to hear. That's so nice. And you're back. Yeah, had a good bath. Um. So, Victor. Yeah, we got back. We got some beer to this. Bye-bye, Jan. Oh, wait a second. Uh, just a sec, just a sec. Uh, bye. There we go. <laughs> totally worth it. All right, so, um, yes, I did. Thanks. Okay, good. Good to hear. Um, and good that you're back. That was good. <laughs> it's a cool, it's a cool, um, avatar. Um, so yeah, we, somebody wanted beer from that farm, so we brought it here. Uh, not the most noble of causes, but I suppose people need beer sometimes. Hey, who am I to judge, right? So I'm assuming now we're going to get some more, um, <laughs> now we're going to get some more, um, uh, story missions, hopefully. How is it going, Sam? So you put Port Not City back on the map. Not bad. Folks around here seem pretty pumped about becoming part of the UCA, which is the United Cities of America. And all that comes with it. Chiral printers, especially. You should have seen their faces when I gave them a demo. It was like a, like I was conjuring equipment out of thin air. Oh, and before I forget, I should also thank you for all the stuff you brought. And for taking care of that BT, too. You've given everyone a shot of inspiration and courage to carry on. And there's not much that's more precious than that these days. Yeah, simple things. Simple things. Even in this... There's some parallels in this game, actually, to our current situation. Obviously, our situation not quite as dire. But um, it was just kind of funny, because in the beginning, in the intro sequence, they were talking about... Um, or early on, they were talking about there used to be you used to be able to travel to different countries and talk to and touch other people, you know, be in proper contact with other people, etc. <laughs> and kind of topical, if you ask me. And this game was made before, uh, before the 
the virus thing stuff happened. Anyway, let's move on. Um, weather station upgrade. You know, I'm not even technically part of the core staff. I'm medical. I was posted here to keep an eye on our skeleton, skeleton crew. Make sure their heads stayed right. And somewhere along the line got roped into processing deliveries too. Anyway... Before we became part of the chiral network, this place was a weather station in name alone. Oh, in name alone. <laughs> it's so weird to read this. We were collecting meteor meteorological data, but only over a pathetically small area, and we weren't able to share it with anyone. And now you are. Prior to the stranding, they had countless weather satellites circling the whole planet, watching every move that clouds made, measuring every twist and turn of the wind. Yeah, stranding was the big event... The sort of bad event that happened that brought the dead into this world. So before stranding, um, they could do the weather normally. Yeah, basically he's talking about our times, and which obviously right now we can we can predict the weather. Although, oftentimes the predictions are quite wrong. Ask me. Anywho, but things are different for us. We don't have a top-down view of the whole picture, but the Cupid and the network have provided us with the next best thing. Now that we can collate data from all over, we can generate more comprehensive models, which gives, it, gives us which give us a much better chance of accurately tracking fluctuations in chiral density. And not only that, we can send weather reports to every city, prepper shelter, and bridges facility on the network. Now we really are doing something useful. We owe you big time, Sam. Well, you know what? That's nice to hear. Uh, you don't owe me anything. so, And I'm not Sam, of course, but... You know, just trying to kind of... Be in the game. Oh, I could save right now. I think that's a good idea. Quite a lot of progress. Um, not a lot of action in this one. Last stream, I had that big fight with the... With the squid monster, but and one of them actually ended in a massive, um, massive explosion and crater. <laughs> but yeah, um, so technological, but post-apocalyptical. Cool. Yeah, it's like a yeah, it's got that kind of um, kind of a funny thing going on. It's like everything's futuristic, but we're hindered because it's post-apocalyptic. Uh? I'll try that again. Um, because of the post-apocalyptic setting. Alright, we have star missions. Urgent. Old component deliver. Old component delivery. Junk dealer. Okay. So we're going to junk dealer. Fair enough. Anything to know about this one? Focus of this delivery is on speed. Deliver the cargo as quickly as possible. Okay. So 45 minutes. That real minutes or in game minutes? Um, I'm guessing it's real minutes. Well, that should not be a problem. It's not gonna give me take me 45 minutes to get to that place, hopefully. Right, let's accept. Got everything I need. Yup, everything's fine. I could, should I make a new bike? But I already have a bike, I don't need it. I don't mind if it's a bit rusty. <laughs> a bit. Oh, it has durability. It's at 8%. I'll go see that stream later. It sounds exciting. Oh, you mean the, the massive squid fight thing? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty exciting. In the A little bit earlier, before that massive fight, I just got kind of jumped at by the ghosts and, and, the, and the squid monster. And I just didn't, I just messed it up entirely. And then it sucked me in. Everything blew up. Very, very, um, um, kind of crazy stuff. I think I'll just take this bike somebody else has left here. Why not? Yeah, it was pretty rusty that. Uh, 8%. <laughs> 8% um, durability doesn't sound very good. I don't know how we made it all the way back, but hey. Not going to complain. It did its job well. 
Um, so we've got everything. I still haven't used the carrier or these old components. So the grenades I throw, I threw at the ghosts earlier on to kill them. Um, they, they are kind of fueled by these blood, my blood. So, um, I need blood bags, bags to kind of use the grenades properly, or I'll lose health when I use them. Anyway, just a little tidbit information. And one of the weird things about the game again. A brand new bike. I kind of miss the old rusty. If I'm honest. We'll remember that bike. Yes. That bike will be fondly remembered. And maybe it should get a heroic beauty at some point. Oh, here we're going. Here we're going. That's where we're going. Anyway, um, I shall cancel that route, make a new one, just stop by the generator. This might be a difficult route. Um, so I don't know how much I can plan this actually, but I'll just make a rough line so I know whereabouts it is. Let's see, it might be that I can't go all the way or there on this bike which Sam, to be fair is oh fragile he calls himself a junk dealer now your client used to work in comms as a repairman okay Could fix anything from simple wireless terminals to integral parts of the civic network mm -hmm. he was a good man a okay. pleasure to deal with well that's good to but hear after the attack near south knot city he changed well but that's not good him. to hear we gave him plenty of reason to distrust us well, that's it. Okay, well, I guess we'll be cautious. Or we won't be expecting a warm welcome. Let's put it that, that way. Blood. This gets weirder every time. Love it. Yeah. It's um, it's an interesting game. For sure. Unique, like I said before. It's... um. I think it's a good thing. Am I going the right way? Kind of, but not really. This doesn't seem like bike terrain to me. Oh, it's on the other side of this canyon. I don't think I'll be going on the bike then. Well, you shall... Let's give it a like. This one's for you. Um, so that doesn't look... Uh, <laughs> the placement of this. What do you reckon? Um, I think I'm going to trust it, but... If, if this was real life, I would never go on that ladder. Look at that. It's like... Or at least pull it a little closer. Holy crap, that's quite the fall. Another pre-view. Okay. Um, that... Ooh, I almost fell there. No problem. Not at all. Yeah, let's like this. Thank Somebody you, else put this ladder here, and that helped me. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, thank you. Um, and then what do I do? I guess I'll keep going towards... What's this then? Don't give up. Okay. What is collector? Yeah, that girl who was talking, uh, Fragile, she's also a porter, and she was kind of, she had a big company just like ours, but um, then um, the the person she was involved with uh, was a terrorist and caused a massive nuclear explosion and everybody died, and then people didn't trust her too much after that, although she didn't actually know about it at the time. So she can teleport from one place to another as well she's pretty cool that thing is just a cm to fall yeah that thing was kind of terrifying if i'm honest so that way centimeter to fall is that what you meant i think so 
look at those views over there. I always feel I, I just I just kind of like hear fantasy Lord of the Rings style music in, in my mind when I look at these views. There, what is that place? Or is that one of the bad guys' place? We don't want to go there. Let's just stick to my route. Stick to this route, so. Oh. And also, yeah, I'm controlling the sort of how much the character. The, it's part of a gameplay. It's an interesting concept. Um, um, thanks for the info. Oh, cool. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting concept. It's part of the gameplay. Is you controlling the basically the character uh, its balance so of course you don't want to fall and ruin the you don't want to ruin the um the cargo so so i think there is a bit of a problem with my route at the moment this um i don't think i can make that leap although having said that this might actually allow us that leap i can probably make uh should I make it? Where am I trying to get to? No, I shouldn't. It's kind of hard to tell from this map, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'm not really going that way. It's not really the direction I'm supposed to be going. So I'll try and go another way. Find a way across. I do have... Yeah, those are the bad guys over there, definitely. See their car? Or the van, or whatever that is. I could put a ladder here. I think I might be able to just I might be able to able to cross over. I didn't get the ping. They know I'm here, don't they? Okay, so here we have this is not going to work. That is not good. Um, I think what I'm doing, I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of the ladders. So, got one ladder on me. I can place this somewhere. That would help me cross. That seems all right. Oh, but they're coming this way. That doesn't seem all right at all. Y you don't know I'm here, do you? I oh, better sneak. Ooh, don't come closer. You just, you guys, just keep going, please. Are they jumping off? What are they doing? Do they know I'm here? Look at them. Doesn't seem like they know I'm here, but. They're definitely doing something. I think I'm just going to cross and... Ooh. That seems so deadly. Well, look at this. Hey. Now let's hope they don't see me from here. Trying to go unde undetected. Oh. Definitely something pinged me. And what button is it? Oh, crap. So they know where I am now. I need to move. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no. These always go wrong when I do this. Ah, God, I'm gonna kick your ass. Hopefully. I think. Maybe. Yes. But there's more coming. They're on their way. Where did I even go? Not there. I think I need to go that way. I'm just going to make a little mark here. To know where I'm having to go. So they're on their way here. I think... Oh! Okay, I need to equip... Is this the small grenade? Yes. Just throw it here.
You don't know where I am. Where did it go? It went underground. They don't know. Oh, they know. Okay, they know. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Run. I needed my bike so desperately. I need to get away. To do some zigzag. Uh oh. That's not good. No, no. No, you won't. Ow. I'm gonna get you quickly. There you go. Get knocked. Oh no, another one. Um, I'm gonna try one of the. Oh no, no. Oh, I have another one. Okay. I need to use it right now. Oh, crap. they've got me surrounded. I think I'm gonna die. If I'm honest. Why can't I use it? Here. Run. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm almost dead. I died. I just did everything wrong, pretty much. So much tension, oh my god. Right? It's carried outside of hostile territory. All cargo, stolen cargo, stolen weapon. Oh, so I didn't die, they just took me. What happens then? I, this has never happened before. Oh, so they left me here. But I lost all my cargo. It's over there. Okay. What does that mean? Can I eat some... Can I drink some water? Yeah, I did everything wrong. I should have used the... Um... No, no, you can do this. Uh, well, you didn't. Drop. Yeah, it didn't, didn't really work out at the end, in the end there, but hey, it's all part of, it's all part of the game, experiencing it, and the experience. Okay, so that's their area, I don't want to go there, but my stuff is there, but they still have my stuff. How do I get it back? I'm not dead, but maybe fired, yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Might very much be fired. Um, do you think I can jump over that? No. Let's not be silly. So I get. I need to be more sneaky this time. So they're there now. Here's my ladder. This okay. And that's them. This is tense. Difficult as well, actually. I haven't had to play like this. Not, exa not exactly sure. Oh, American Outlaw. Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. How's it going? Having a good night? Getting close to the weekend? So that's where my stuff is. I just died. I need to get there. They need to be doing some sort of a routine, right? Because that's... I think they were there last time as well. They stopped. But once I crossed to the other side... It became a problem. So they... Like, they tracked me immediately. But I don't have any cargo. So maybe they won't do that this time. But I think they tracked the cargo. They pinged the cargo and not me personally. or this sounds oh crap so they did ping me or did they not really oh but I'm running out of time I might have to take from a save because this is all gone wrong but before that I want to try the weapon I have if I still have it Hey, I can pee. Yeah, okay, I don't have the weapon anymore. I'll just have some fun. Oh, they drove away. 
but I'll, I'll never make it to the cargo place somewhere there on time but I guess I can try American outlaw I'm good thank you all right good to hear good to hear me too actually it's been a fun stream so far um I'm pretty sure I'm fairly close to being fired as we've discussed and um I might have to take from a save because um they're everywhere how do you get through this zone you you have to go around because I have three minutes of time left to get to the um I guess somewhere there where I can see the container somewhere over there probably oh they're coming this way that's good that's great this is exactly what I wanted and there's another all right that's fine I knew I could make that jump oh it's a, like a did you see that it was like um what do you call that like uh, camouflaged okay let's take my stuff I don't need the lost cargo repair spray I guess I should take that because I probably broke everything and that's all really and then we can get going and we won't make it in time but on time but let's see if we can still try I'll have to run. Which way? That way. Well, that's not the way. That's not okay. I can't do that. Well, I can jump here. I thought it was behind. Uh oh, they know me. Know where I am now. Not fired at all. Yeah, not yet. Let's see. Where's the route I drew? There. We have 1 minute 55 seconds. Oh. Well. Maybe. We kind of got away, didn't we? But they're still following. But they don't know exactly where I am. This looks like Mars or something. Hmm. I'll take the smooth route. I feel like those rocks are going to hinder me. I have to try and run because I don't have a lot of time. I think we can make it. I can't believe it. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oof. Almost fell then. Let's see. It's like some kind of a junkyard. Well, I guess it makes sense because it's a junk dealer. You played this game, um, Outlaw? We made it. I can't believe we made it. We have 50 seconds left. And is the, how's the cargo? Is it okay? Is, is it, should I fix it or is it fine? I guess it's fine. Just in time. Yeah, tell me about it. Delivering car. That was close. That was close. Let's get another one. Oh? What's this then? Okay. She's playing with a... Oh, time glass. Long time gone, my girl. Oh, I All see. All because of some terrorist nutjobs. And their buddies at yeah. Fragile Fucking Express. Not to mention the bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. Yeah, <laughs> sorry Whatever. about that. Let's see the goods. Yeah, you made it in time, I guess. Good well, you're doing your job. <laughs> just... Good to see. I got knocked out. I lost everything. I had to go find it. But yes, I did make it on time. Outlaw. Yes, on my second playthrough. All right. Cool. I'm kind of doing like um, not very completionist one. Mostly story, but whenever it makes sense, I'll do some side stuff and, and things. I'm terrible at the game, obviously. Um, but as you can as you can tell, I I think I've got the BTS figured out now, mostly. But um, the mules I still can't really, don't know how to handle. But I haven't done the upgrade radar thing, which I think will help because then I can 
respond to their ping. Is the damage too much? We got a B, but... Yeah, I guess that was fine. That was a terrible rank, but... Terrible rating, but hey. We, we have to take it this time. Mostly I've gotten awesomes. All you porters are no better than terrorists. Well, and come on now. Will convince me otherwise. So okay, take your well, I guess. And fuck off. Whoa. Well. Bit of an attitude on you, eh? Well, okay then. Something yeah. tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. He uh, seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City. That woman and there's no death more of a girl, wasn't it? Woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into it. Oh, so she's hey, still alive. I was looking hey, for my own database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial cool. She's nice. still alive. Our jungle okay. is grieving for nothing. Well, that's good news I for everybody. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Hang on. All right. He just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check oh. the delivery terminal and see what he wants. Or maybe he just needs something. But Okay, well, that's good because then we can maybe find... We can find this girl. And obviously, uh, if they're alive, maybe they need, maybe they're in trouble, maybe they need help, so we can help them. But also, of course, it will help us link this place to the network, which I'm assuming we're trying to do here. Outlaw. It's an amazing story that plays out as you go. Just take your time and enjoy it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to rush it or anything, but I'm also kind of focusing more on the story than anything else. But <laughs> it's such a unique game. Great sound design, great great music, great graphics, but the whole idea of the game I like the most because it, it's not trying to please everybody, you know what I mean? It's a unique game. Trying to do its own thing and doing it very well. Crazy creative direction as well. So, a new job. Collection old components and we'll bring them back. Acquired delivery weight, 60 kilos or more. So might we have to use then the um, the platform thing that we learned to use or build last time? Perhaps. Let's see. Anything special? Yeah, deliver at least 60 kilos of cargo. We do not deliver. Okay, so it's like, all right. So maybe take a little bit more than 60 just in case something falls or breaks. Cargo collection from a BT area. Oh, boy. Well, it's actually kind of fun, but it's just so, it's terrifying. So, yeah. Well, we've got this stuff. We haven't got, can we, can we actually craft things here on this? Um, yeah, okay. Order assigned. Can we craft things here on on his terminal? Or is it? No. Can't fabricate anything. So, I don't know. Do I have to go back? Because things went wrong. Things went a bit south last time around. I'm just wondering if I can actually carry all that stuff back. But I guess we'll have a go. Why not? I'll save the game. I don't know if that's the smart thing to do after how much I failed just then, but hey, let's not overthink it. So here's one. Should we go over? We'll just go straight over or around. I feel like last time there was a BT zone. I actually made a route that really made it a lot easier than it would have been otherwise. And I was really proud of myself because I'm usually a dumbass. Um, as, as we just witnessed, so um, usually that doesn't work out that well, but um, that time it did, so I'm just going to try this kind of route, let's see. This seems pretty straightforward though, I didn't... Just to give yourself a challenge, huh? <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with the challenge. 
Uh, mail received from junk dealer. All right, let's read it. Um, junk disposal. I have a job for you, should you be interested. A pile of junk has accumulated near my shelter and it needs to be disposed of. There is a problem, however. Some of the aforementioned waste products may be contaminated by chiralium, which means that the only safe place in which to dispose of them is the crater lake to the south. Should be easy enough for a bid bridges man such as yourself, but it's up to you whether you take the job or not. Okay, so is this not like the job we just took? I guess not. But I think we're, we're going to skip that for now. Um, and stick with this mission we have. This quest mission. So what are you doing different, Outlaw, on your, on your um, second playthrough? Is there like a lot of different ways of playing? I suppose there always is, but... Or is it just more for the experience? Well, I can see the BTs up ahead. Yeah, we'll see, I guess. Seems like a bad idea. Very cool environment, this game. Just... Really cool. Oh. Um, pick up, please. No, let's not punch the tardigrades, or whatever you call them. Cairo, Cairo maggots. I can't take them anymore. All right. Do I have? I have so little anything. Oh, I have have these. Do I need to? Nope. I don't need to eat. I don't have any of the grenades because because I messed up the previous task. You can with this. Yeah. Let's hope. Let's see. I'm going to have to go all 100% avoiding because I don't have the grenades. Because I lost them. Lake Knot Center, south of Lake Knot City. Where's that? Which one was it? Here. Okay. Um, If I need to get 60 kilos, I maybe, maybe I won't take anything else for now. See about it in a bit. Um, hey Raza, how's it going? You're back. How goes Raza? Having a good night? Good week? Where's my socks, delivery boy? <laughs> I don't know, where'd you leave them? I sure as heck ain't gonna take your dirty socks and bring them to you. Doing more exploring and different tactics. Five star, all prep. Sure, yeah, okay. So like, oh, uh oh. This is what got us done last time around. I'm not paying attention enough. <laughs> I'm looking at chat or something, and then I'm gonna get killed again. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah. So of course, there's a lot of a lot of different um, tasks that are sort of all over the place there's loads of um lost cargo and then of course if you five star everything that's a that's a good challenge that, that ought to be difficult uh raza not again ah rip yeah <laughs> no i think i think i'm fine for now um raza i ordered them well before this apocalypse <laughs> you haven't delivered them yet and don't give me a giant void monster ate them excuse. <laughs> it was a squid. Giant squid. No, actually it was an anglerfish. Um yeah. The apocalypse kinda got in the way a little bit. But you'll get them, don't worry. It's uh it's your Amazon Prime delivery. Okay, so now we've got BTs, right? Still not going though. The radar. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just as I say. Oh crap. And no grenades, huh? This is probably the. I think my um, route is too direct. I'm trying to go in right through the front, but let's see. Oh boy. Let's see. 
Thanks for stopping by, Raza. Once again. Uh oh. So that's pretty far away. So this radar to, I think, Riv, I don't know, you might not know. Um, um, it shows where the nearest BT is. So as long as I kind of, oh, so now it's right ahead. So that, there's one over there somewhere. And there's one over there where that mark is. Which is probably where I'm supposed to, well, no. I'm supposed to go to that mark, so I wonder what that is. Wind chapter 4. Um, no grenades, you're a glutton for punishment here, lol. Yeah, I know, it's a bad idea, but might as well have a go, eh? I'll just be super sneaky like. I can do it, maybe. Oh. Oh no no nobody here oh oh there's one don't you mind me I'll be on my way oh crap chapter four I don't actually know is this chapter four outlaw pro Out outlaw probably knows um I think it might be uh fragile I think this is that chapter where is the thing did I go past it or is it scan? Shouldn't I? Oh, there's so much. Oh, there, junk dealer. There. Okay. All oh, right, because I have to take a certain amount. It's three or four. Yeah, it might be. I feel like this might be four. I'm not hundred percent sure. Okay, so there's loads of stuff here. Okay, it's straight ahead. Well, there you go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, 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 perhaps. Uh, perhaps change my mind about that direction. Oh, that's close. I don't want to hold my breath yet. Oh, and I can hold my breath to sort of make sure they don't notice me. But it only lasts for a what? What do you reckon? Twenty seconds, maybe. I can, I can, I can do this, right? Where is it? It's there somewhere. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's one. It's 10 kilos, is it? Yeah, that's 10 kilos. So I only need five more. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. Okay. So one there. Oh, two there. Three there. Oh, I don't see how this is going to work out. And one there. Maybe I can sneak here. In between all of them. I'm holding my breath. Well, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Oh. Uh-oh. It's pretty close. Should I hold my breath? Maybe. I'll hold my breath to get this one. How's the baby doing? <gasps> the BB. Hold my breath. I'll try to get there. That should be a little bit further away from... What's that sound? Oh yeah, it's the breath thing. Stop. There's one. There's two. There's one over there. Oh, there it is. You don't see me, right? No, you don't see me. I've got two. So 20 kilos out of 60. You know how I said, um... Yeah, I should probably take uh, maybe 70 or something. A little bit extra, so if I have need to drop something. I, I don't think I'll be doing that. I think I might just stick with the 60. Um, let's see. I, I'm being overly cautious now. I'm sorry, but I don't have any grenades. Oh, it's right in front of me. Hold breath. Pick this up. Get the heck out of there. Um, maybe. Oh, there's one. Maybe I can go there. So there's one over there. Oh, but there's one right here as well. On the other side, around that corner, isn't it? So what do I do? Oh, but there's... <laughs> there's so many! How do I get past this bit? How much do I have? 
I need to check. Also, I need to, need to relax a little bit. It's stressful. I have 30. 30 kilo. I need three more. Okay. Can I save? Probably not. Yeah. Nope. So. There's one around this. Yeah, right there. I'll try and sneak by. Maybe I can go up there. I don't think there's anyone there. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe there is. I'll just try and get as far as I can before I need to take it. Another... Don't notice me. I'm not here. This isn't happening. I need to scan. Can I scan? Will they notice? I'm holding my breath a little bit. So there's... Where can I find more? Am I being blind or... Where, where's more? Oh, did somebody just appear in front of me? <gasps> no, no. No. No, 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 no. Maybe these are friendly BTs. <laughs> uh, I doubt it. Oh, there's one. Oh, crap. It's right next to me. And I let go of the breath thing. Oh, that was so close. Oh. Okay. Take a little break. Oh, uh, let's not take a break. No, no. Oh, holy crap. I gotta get there. I need to get that there between those. <sighs> Look, considering this, the the fact that I don't have the uh oh the grenades, I think I'm doing all right. I'm just spamming the breath thing a little bit too much, maybe. I saw one somewhere there, right? Is it... Or was it that one? I thought I saw... I thought I saw one around this corner. Or in, like in between these buildings. Let's see. There seems to be a little bit less here, so... Less of BTs at least. Oh, well. Oh, well. Just as I say. You don't come this way. Is that right? Okay. I guess I'm going to try and get that one over there. Since I know where it is at least. But there were so many of them. How will I ever be able to do this? Is it inside the... No, it's a little further away, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know. It's right there. Right there. And right there. But not too far. They don't know me. You don't know me. There's one. That's where I'll go. Oh, God. I think here is safe. I can use my own steps as a sort of... Oh, there's one right there. My own steps as a kind of guide. So did I really miss that one early on over there? But isn't that the last one I need? Let me just check. I think it is. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Wait. I've got enough, have I? 20, 40, 60. I've got the 70, so I actually, I'm actually doing the thing that I was I was saying that I might be doing. That I'll take one extra in case I need to drop it. I didn't notice a couple of them were actually 20 kilo and not, not just 10. So I'm actually okay. And now if I just follow my footsteps, 
I should be all right. I'm sure they move around a little bit, but what was that sound? I'd rather not get giant squid. I already killed it once. I have no grenades either, so I think we can go a little faster here. Oh, famous last words. Oh, I think we can go a little faster here. No problem. the breath a little bit okay, not necessary anymore I'm not being stupid right I have enough that's right right did anyone see that I have enough cargo right also I need to plan my way out of here let's remove these markers and so and that's where I came through. So I guess I'll just go back the same way. At least that's... That should work fine. Since there was nothing particularly difficult there. So just this will help me get back. Yes, you have enough. Okay, thanks, Outlaw. Appreciate it. I didn't even notice that um, I had it. And I was just making it even more difficult for myself. I think I've become all right with the sneaky stuff, but it's not the most exciting way of playing probably, but I didn't have any grenades on me because I messed up the previous quest mission. So I had to go sneaky like, and you know what? That's okay, isn't it? Different types of play. And uh, it felt quite fun actually to be sort of forced because of my own mistake, forced into this kind of gameplay. Or maybe not forced, but it, it certainly made the most sense at the time because I was close to this place and quite far away from from the place where you can actually fabricate stuff, which is the same as craft. <gasps> and it goes away. Oh, nice. And now see the baby is getting up here as well. Can I save now? Is it okay to save? No, still not okay to save. Sneaking is a huge part of this game. Yeah, and it's a good part. I quite like it, especially with the BTs. I still don't know how to do it with the humans. But um, I guess I'll learn. Let's, let's, the baby got a little rough. Hey, how are you doing? I'll soothe you. So <laughs> you soothe the baby to make them feel better. And then they get that bar on the bottom left it goes up and then they'll, I don't know, I, it, I guess it helps them do well. They fell asleep. Well, I haven't seen many, many gameplay mechanics like that in, <laughs> in many games, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, it, it, it's certainly unique. I don't know. How, how many games have you played where you can soothe the baby and, and all the while sneaking away from ghost monsters that are trying to pull you into an underground world or not even, even that. Raza, BB is sleeping on the job and not carrying his share of the cargo. Demoted. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, that's one way to look at it. It's a little harsh, maybe. I feel like I, I'm so grateful for the BB. I'm emotionally connected. Because if it wasn't for the BB, I'd be dead. Why am I sneaking? I know why, because I'm an idiot. Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. <laughs> You guys have the jokes. You guys have the jokes. That's a good one. You're a poet. Didn't know it. 
Or maybe you did know it, actually. I really like how they've done Norman Raiders in this one. And actually all the... I, I've, I, I know I said this before already, but all the actors and the motion capture, I think it's done really well in this game. Way better than in most other... Well, maybe, maybe that's not fair, most other, but many other games. They're not going to scan me, are they? No. That was the edge of the... So it doesn't go to that uncanny valley thing, and then it ju it kind of feels like the actors act actually proper, and the performances are all right. Although not that there's a whole lot. Okay, now I can take this since I know I'm all right. Um, the performances are good, especially in the cut scenes, but even otherwise, pretty good. The voice acting is great. But even this sort of facial acting is pretty good. Hey, well, would you believe it? We actually made it. Whew. <clears throat> Have you seen the Unreal Engine video this week for Meta Human Mocap? I actually saw it again. I saw it. I didn't watch it yet. I, I actually saw one game dev, um, indie game dev, post about it. It was jokingly showing his workflow with the meta human thing and showing Just like 2.5 FPS <laughs> but yeah anyway I haven't seen that but apparently it's really really good there was a title saying something about uncanny valley but yeah probably we're, we're, we're starting to get there where um, where it's all so convincing that you just kind of don't don't really care too much that it's not a real human it's not the same but it's it, you know we should appreciate how far we've got all right i can't believe i made it honestly i'm it's just it's very satisfying because i usually make a mess of everything and in this game it's quite easy to make a mess of everything and um and um this time I didn't, so it makes me feel happy. You may select partial delivery to submit required cargo currently in your possession and return with the remainder when convenient. I see. So you don't want all of it then? Oh, okay. Sorry for interrupting. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. 70. How do I do that again? Make partial delivery. Okay, there we go. Um. So Raza... From, uh, yeah, was was it good? Did you watch it? Um, seventy kilo. Next. Right, story moves on. There's been so much progress tonight. I'm kind of uh, shocked. Good work. Thank you, sir. Um, no comments from the junk trader, dude. After that? Seriously? Well, I guess there's nothing else but to go back to... Oh, yeah, but how do I go back? I need to somehow get back to this place. But last time I, <laughs> I crossed this area, it went very wrong. So many times wrong, I got beat, my ass kicked, I got everything stolen, I almost messed up the whole quest because of it. Quest? But well, you know what I mean. So what might be a good route to, do I need to go all the way around? Is that the only way? Maybe I'll come back, go where I came from. Because this seems to be like the edge of their perimeter. And then go through here. All the way here. There, there's some huge canyons here as well. So I need to get... This seems like a decent route. I think this should work. Let's see. My bike's somewhere there as well. Oh, it's it's here. But I won't be needing it right now. Oh, some email. Uh, Thomas Sutherland. whom I, To whom I delivered some beer. 
recently um, because they were needing it. Because that's important in the post-apocalyptic world is to deliver some beer to folks. Uh, pretty impressive, Raza says. Just got to got to see the details of how close their um, claim is to easy to use model than ours. Yeah, I suppose that's the trick, isn't it? Just take a charter flight, skip the terrain. <laughs> I wish I could. Well, actually, I no, I'll, I'll take that back. I don't actually wish wish that because, but um, a jetpack would would come handy. Yeah. Some hot springs a hop, skip, and a jump northeast. Uh, what are you talking about, mate? I know, a perfect place. The Crater Digestive Bath. Oh, I see. So you're like, miraculous healing properties, apparently. Does wonders for a stressed BB, even. Okay. So where was that, did it say? Northeast of where the junk dealers hold up. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's see. Victor Frank, Sam, my man, love, love for you here in Port Knot City. All right. Let's just read the yellow bit on this one, which I'm assuming is the important bit. You've been using the utility pouches. They make it really easy to carry an extra blood bag or two, and you ought to know better than anyone how much BTs hate this stuff. Yep. They do hate it. I have beat some of them. Now I can save? Question mark? Yes. All right, good. So what was it? Northeast from... Okay, maybe I'll come back for that. I'll just do this route. I have my planned. Riv. I'm so sleepy already, so I have to go to sleep. This was fun. Tens and also chill. Good thing I found you. Yeah, really, really fun to have you around. Thank you for being so nice. So good luck and buenas noches. <laughs> All right. Um, have a good night. It was really nice for, of you to stop by and, and really nice to meet you. And um, yeah, bonus not just sleep well and rest well. And hope to see you soon. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I got to do this for you as well. Just a sec. Bye. There we go. It's always worth it, I reckon. Okay, so. Back to this route. I'll be here next stream. Bye. All right, bye. Thanks. I'll get these crystals here. Look like hands. They're like the... Nice. Nice. Like the dead hands that try to... I don't know, pull you underneath, but then they've crystallized. I'm just making stuff up now, really. Alrighty. This looks like, um, I know Mars isn't really all that red, even though it's called Red Planet, but it kind of does have that vibe, doesn't it? Sort of Martian, Martian vibe. This has so many unique, well, I don't know, but well, so many very cool looking locations. Don't let these people do without me. <laughs> what would you do without me, Norman? Probably you'd do just fine. Actually, you'd probably do better without me than with me. There we go. There we go. So we're trying to make our way back to to the main city. I'm hoping that's the right thing to do. Oh, yeah. There's the perimeter. We don't want to go inside. Um, I think we'll have story missions there, hopefully. I, actually, I should probably learn more about how to... There's six orders available, so I'm assuming that means that there, there's, there's a story mission there. Yeah, we don't want to go in through there actually so we can see oh well they pinged me still didn't they are they i think i can get away do they even come on this side do they go all over the boundaries don't see them but i'll be long gone before they find me i do have a couple of smoke grenades the last time they only 
help me a little bit. And here we go. We move from Mars to no moon. I think we have to go all the way here because there's these canyons. And if we don't do, if we don't go around, we have to jump over. There's some ladders and stuff that you can use, but uh -oh. grab, grab. But um, since we're pretty close, I think we're okay to go through. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool canyon thing. The terrain is really cool. I, I suppose it should be, given that that's such a big part of the game. But um, yeah, very well done. Terrain design, level design, whatever you want to call it. I suppose... Um, Where's the cargo? Where is it going? Oh, rain. Um, where is it going? Chiral printer parts. Craftsman. Oh, right. Craftsman is somewhere. Where is it? Who was craft Craftsman? Elder. Oh, it's way back there. Okay, I, I don't think I'll take that right now. Although I should have taken it and then taken it closer to the destination, but um, because it is the right direction. Okay, so my plan is taking me in the... Wait, is it? Oh, I didn't mean to yell. Hey, hey, I'm here just in case you didn't see me last time around. If you want to come and kick my ass. Oh. Oh, where are okay. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that sound? Oh, battery, maybe? Okay, so this is going south, Blake, not city. Which is center, south, oh, yeah. So we'll take that, because that's going to the same place we're going. So lost cargo, this is some other porters have lost it. Presumably. And, and we can take it instead of them. Um, let's go on then. Getting there. Not too far. Look at that. The mountains. Oh, nice sound as well. The sound design and music, I love it in this game. So well done. Pretty long, long route this actually. Long distance. But it's my job. Here we go. Um, so from Mars over there, to Moon over here, to New Zealand over there, to... I don't know what that place would be, some kind of American place. And then the first area was Scotland. I think that's a pretty cool combo. And um, it's a good idea of them to to sort of use the, uh, the real environment as inspiration, which I'm assuming is what they've done. Um, so yeah, these look like really cool, sort of real life, real life scenery landscapes. So that's the place we're trying to get to over there. And there's some missions over there, but I think I don't know if we have time in this stream. Maybe for a quick one. Let's see. Let's see when we get there. If we get there alive. But this has been a tricky journey. This one for sure um, maybe this way nobody out here but those damn fools outlaw for your information the hidden preppers in this region that have great rewards that are very useful all i'm going to say to be spoiler free all right thanks yeah and also thanks really appreciate that you are staying spoiler free 
Um, it's so easy to spoil, but really appreciate that you've done that. And also tips are not bad. You know, tips are always useful. Um, so wait a minute. So hidden preppers in this region. So those are the... Um, so like these stations, like... Like the elder craftsman, but they're hidden, that they're somewhere, for example, somewhere here, where it's not marked on the map. I'm assuming something like that. I'll read on it. But of course, yeah, um, great rewards that would be useful. Sounds pretty good to me. Correct. Okay, cool. I'll take that maybe as a... As a goal for next stream to find one. Let's see. Um, still, this has been the longest journey so far. Although, there have been some that are, have maybe been longer, but I have had the bike, so that's a bit cheaty. <laughs> you can get places really quick on the bike. But yeah, this looks pretty cool, this area. Again, these rocks and the shapes of them. Not really natural, is it? Or, well, to be honest, there are places where there are rocks that look even Trust less... You, yourself and even more sort of uniform and... You know... Than these two. But definitely a beautiful game, eh? You have to be close and ping them to to find them. And then they show up on map. Alright, okay. Okay, so I have a bad habit of not pinging a lot. I guess one of the reasons might be that I don't want to spam it. But um, it is quite a useful feature in this. And I have to get into the habit of actually pinging more often because it's stuff like that, obviously. And, and also things that you haven't, like, lost cargo that might be useful as well. Someone's built a bir bridge over there. Oof, long journey. Oh. But here we are. We made it back. BB looks happy. Stamina restored and fatigue level reduced. Um, okay, cool. All right, so now we have some lost cargo and then, 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 um, yep, yeah, lost cargo. Yep, these are both chosen, I think. Let's return them. We'll get some likes, points, virtual points. So you made it. I got it. Yes, I made it. Not many guys out there can do what you do. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do believe there is a more... Uh, there's quite a few in my chat who actually could do it better than me, but I'll take the compliment. The bridge link is too... The star is getting... Well, in good shape. Master Handler 66. I wonder what the cap... Is there a level that you can't... Is there a cap for the level? Who knows? Well, take care of yourself. You too, man. Appreciate the kind words. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Okay, Bob. I named that dude Bob. Because uh, I don't know what its name is. So, um, I thought Bob will do. Do I have anything extra that I don't need? Um, some crystals I could actually give them. Is this recycling? I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Because they, um, the more crystals I give them, the better these stations somehow get. But, oh, this is cargo shelf. No, I don't want to put them in cargo. So, yeah. I, I want to recycle them. Although, I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah, it was recycled. Okay, cool. So, I shall do that. Because they're... Crystals help them and help these stations. I probably should do this more as well. But, you know.
live and learn and slow learn. Thank you. Reconnect the world. <laughs> That's such a funny, funny style for that message, I reckon. New materials. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Okay, and then um, let's see the orders. Let's do one bot because these bots, they're automatic, kind of. Material delivery, uh, metals, or more. Let's take an easy one for them. These are kind of fun, these bots as well. You can see them go when they start going. Yeah, this guy was good. Good guy anyway. They deserve our help. So they come out of this thing, this shot. And da -da 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 -da, singing away. <laughs> I, I don't know, simple thing, but uh, it entertains me massively. I appreciate little details like that. Right, so then the order for Sam. Tablet delivery, film director. Oh, oh no! It goes through the um, goes through the area where <laughs> their area, the bad guys, the mules. I might, I might have to go a long way around because I sure as heck don't know how to survive the mules zones yet. Um, okay, but that's fragile cargo. Um, so it will break easily. Maybe I'll do something else first. Just one quick order somewhere. High protein edible plant to elder. Yeah, how much time do I have? Half an hour left of stream. I don't know if that's enough. Or... Well, let's try this one. For elder. Elder wasn't quite happy with... Um, he, he didn't want to join our thing yet. He, he connected with our network, but didn't actually want to, like, properly join our, um... Yeah, we need to build stuff now. Our, um, United Cities of America. So, I think I need to... Um... Might actually do, do another one of those. Oh. Maybe if we help the... Help Elder out a little bit more, then, um... He'd be happier to join... Yeah, some grenades would be necessary. Let's go with... There's five each, so probably two is enough. Um, and we might also want to make a bike. To make this one, especially because we're running out of time a little bit. Then, oh, we need a couple of blood bags. Or I already had some, didn't I? Yeah, four. Okay, I don't need it then. Yeah, let's make one bike. Do I have enough materials for all this? 68. Oh, yeah. Easily. All right, cool. Yep, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, I already had one in garage. Well, now we have two. <laughs> I guess I could donate one of them for um, share to like um, for others to use, you know, online garage. Perhaps I could do that. So, other players can use them. So this is for the uh, for elder. Yeah, carry on back. Ooh, attach the suit maybe. Left shoulder and right shoulder. So one each side. And which one? What is this? Oh, that uh, tool rack. Yeah, that's good. Um, that can only take one, right? So I think this one goes on back then. Oh, I have a lot of stuff, but I can carry quite a bit now. That looks all right. Should I just auto arrange? Maybe it would be better. But that doesn't look too bad to me. You want stuff to be close to your uh, back. In real life anyway. Rather than pull back further because the uh, center of gravity and that stuff I don't know let's go with this I did it myself oh loud sound <laughs> all right and we'll be on the bike anyway so that's not a huge 
There we go. On the bike. Oh man, I missed you. I did miss you, bike. Alright, so. Likes for the baby. And we're full on battery, so no need to do any of that stuff. So what is the way to get to Elder then? Um seems it might be here. Although what is that then? That looks like a straight route almost. Oh, let's remove this. That's not what I meant to do. Let's follow this line here. It might it might do as well. And then through here maybe because I don't want to go in their zone. In the these orange zones are the bad guy zones. We don't want to do that. Right, so let's see what we can do. Goes over that hill, that's fine. Uh, do I need to cross the bridge? Not really. I can just. The water takes more. Um, oh, well. <laughs> well then. <laughs> do I need to cross the bridge? Not really. <laughs> well, I guess I should have crossed the bridge. Is the bike gone? Oh man, I'm such an idiot. I had a bridge right there and I didn't take it. <laughs> well, entertaining. I think. Um, is the bike really gone? It's just... It's just gone. It's, it's not there anymore. How's the cargo? Is it all broken? Does it matter? These aren't too bad. Where's the here? Edible plant plants? Four percent. No, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, unlike you, outlaw, I'm not getting five stars. <laughs> Clearly. For good reason. I I could go and I'm pretty close. I, I could just go and get another bike. I think I'll do that. Normally, I probably wouldn't, but I'm sort of short on time since I'm um, finishing the stream in 25 minutes time. So I think if I don't take the bike, I might, I might not make it. Rule number one: build roads. I know, right? They take so many, uh, so much resources, though. But yeah, I should do that. It's clearly a big part of the game. And also, it actually seems like a pretty cool thing to do. Like, have an actual impact on the... On the, um... Whatchamacallit? On the environment? <laughs> yes, can I just go on this and get it? Oh, no, I don't want to go to the room. I just want to buy... And how do I call it? Garage. Retrieve. Okay. Let's try not to lose this one. It's so worth it, man. Trust me. Okay. I I will focus on that more. More from now on. I, I've kind of just um, ignored it a little bit. In, uh, in favor of progress, I suppose. But I suppose it's not really... It's part of a progress, isn't it? Um, and satisfying. Yeah, I feel like that's actually pretty cool. And the, and the materials, they are all over. Are those... How are they so close, the mules? They're not mules, they're... Oh, they're other porters, aren't they? Taking stuff to... But yeah, it's it's a pretty cool thing you can do. Is is has such an impact on the environment and the um, and like see kind of you know see yourself building stuff. Can we go up here? Probably, yeah. They're friendly porters. Yeah, I was nervous at first because I thought something's wrong, but. Of course, 
Whoa! Friendly player is giving boosts. Uh huh. So, with what happened last time with the bike, I'm a little bit worried now. It'll make your life so much easier as the game progresses. Yeah. Okay. I. I oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I think. I think I've been ignoring it for too long. So the, those roads over there, they can be rebuilt, right? That's what you mean, Nick. Okay. From here. Oh. Draw that line. Should see it right here. Yep. Yeah, and, and like you said, it's fun. Um, I guess I was just trying to avoid grinding too much materials for stream, so... Um, and, and getting the story moving forward as well. But um, it is fun to get the roads going and then see that uh, progress and actually be able to see it. Ooh, so where, where do we go here? I think this is a decent path here. All right, here we go. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, uh, well, that's... Yeah, the bike riding is maybe not the most carefully crafted uh, aspect of this game. But on the other hand, it's not really supposed supposed to be, I think. Whoa, what does this sign say? Jump? Is that what it's saying? Ah, okay, let's go for it. All good. All good. Not even difficult. Ow. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Well, I think we're here, right? It's definitely more satisfying doing the all the routes walking. I just feel like it is more satisfying, but it, it probably gets a little bit too much if you do everything walking. Okay, Elder, I've got some stuff for you. Here we have high protein edible plants for you. So you'll be strong and healthy. Delivering cargo. Nice. Thanks for dropping. So do you by. like me more now? Okay, well, you sound a little more friendly. Wow, yeah, about that. It might be a bit great. soaked. Excellent job. Thank you. Okay. He didn't even notice. Well, he doesn't have to know. We'll keep it uh, our secret. Won't get an awesome rating for this. Oh, I... Okay. Well, I guess it wasn't that bad then. And again, getting more likes in this game than in real life is always... It's kind of nice you, you, you can pretend there. Until next time. Good work. Thank you, sir. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Okay, mail. You have mail. You've got mail. Let's read it. Ooh, Jake Wind. All right. Hey, Benjamin Hancock really likes us, or I don't know if, if that's what that means, but for a more than four star connection. Tell Amelie we're true believers. Dear Sam, how's it going? Still heading west. We're rooting for you. We were part of the second group, so we never got to speak with Amelie face to face. Caught the occasional holo message, but that was about it. Still, every little bit helped to keep us going. She just like she she's just like her mother, rest in peace. Uh, although he might not know that. Tough, clever, easy on the eye too. Oh come on, man. Um, I won't lie and say I didn't notice. All right, fair enough. <laughs> but what really res resonated with us was that uh, that fire she carries, that conviction, same as Bridget. Any of us 
would have laid down our lives in service to her vision. Really? Okay, that's pretty cool then. For her, I mean. I suppose this is all a long-winded way of saying you ought to move on and meet her like we never got to. These people don't know she's my sister, right? Because they all talked, talked to me a little bit like as if I don't know her. And they do. Or m maybe it's just my imagination. Suppose this is all... Yeah, okay. And when you do, tell her we're all still believers in the cause and, and in her. And her mother. You'll do that, won't you? Yep, eventually, eventually, I will do that. What about Benjamin, then? Oh, yeah, he was one of the first ones, so that's probably why the connection is so high. Uh, I think he was one of the first ones. Dear Sam, thanks again for all your help. The chiral printer is still running like a dream. And it kind of feels like one too, seeing all these new buildings popping up out here. It hasn't solved all our problems, of course. The nearby wasteland still crawling with BTs. But now we can obtain a good chunk of our supplies via the network, and they can't interfere with that. To think we're connected, even all the way out here. Didn't used to think it was such a special thing. The whole world was one big network back before the Death Stranding. Yeah, a little bit like our world now, right? That's what it is. Imagine if we now lost internet. Or something. Uh, yeah, it would be interesting. It would be kind of weird. Anyway. Um, video, audio, text, every bit of information was available for one and all. But now we've gone one better. The chiral network and the printer can be used to send tangible things. Yeah, that is pretty good. Well, in a way, welcome to the new America. Once we're able to send food and medicine too, you won't have to put your neck on the line for our sake anymore. I hope that day comes soon. I really do. I suppose at some point it will. Um, so let us save here. They've completed. All right. Let me just quickly check if there's... Um, yeah. So, um, I'm not sure how... We got a lot of progress in this one. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm not sure how... Which way... I, I, yeah, there was this... This task was next... But I guess we might try and next time do a little bit of the roads. As suggested by Outlaw. And um, also uh, maybe find one of the secret, secret um, places as well. But that's maybe secondary. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, but also further, further the story as well. It's all... All of it is important, so yeah, good progress today. Um, I'll say once more, I'm just a little neuro neurotic that way. Okay, so here we go. Alrighty, okay, good session. Thanks for stopping by, American Outlaw, and everybody else, of course, who've already. Maybe still here or left. I don't know. Um, most of them, most of the people, I think, are gone at this point. But really fun stream. Um, really fun game. Fun. I don't know if that's the right word. Is it? Well, anyway, it's um, it's a fun one. Good session, and uh, hope I, I can't wait honestly to see what happens next time because there's quite a few mysterious things in this as well uh thanks and what time you start stream the schedule's on the channel and then that should convert to your time zone it's always the same time um next death stranding is uh is today thursday yeah ne next death stranding i think might be next week it's two days a week um it's tuesdays thursdays and and then um, other games Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday is like a random day, which I might do. I'll, I'll see. I'll see about which which game on Sunday. Um, 
it will be either this or then Final Fantasy or then maybe something else like just a little change Rocket League or something I don't know but um Tuesdays Thursdays are always Death Stranding and starting always at the same time on the hour and um, yeah you can check on the channel in the in the schedule page and there's also the now live or the next live sort of countdown thing I put that there as well so it will actually tell you how many hours from now not right now but later on All right hope that answers your question <laughs> um let me check yeah all is well um All right, where are you at in your second playthrough? Is it about where I am or further along? I wonder if I can still... Get this going. Also, if you followed... Did you follow? I can't remember. You, you probably did, right? Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll also send a notification as well if you keep them on. Um. Oh, you're in the same area. Okay, well that's kind of fun, isn't it? Then I'll check as well. But yeah, um, very cool. Um, story-wise, I'm wondering about fragile. Fragile seems sound to me. Like, of course, she has her selfish reasons to do things so she's not really trying to connect America or anything like that that's what she said as well I don't think she's really I think she's honest about not really being part of a terrorist um I don't know why but from the beginning the sister character is actually the dodgiest one <laughs> that might be completely ridiculous to think but somehow it just feels like something's off and why do they let her contact? And why, why are they keeping her so free? And I, I don't know. It's something weird about that one. And then, of course, there is um, there's the Matt Mikkelsen character who we really don't know anything about at this point. Um, so we, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. What happens with that? Um, I think that will maybe clear up next time. Probably... Probably next few sessions or streams it will become more clear. The story gets really good. Emails and interviews give get great lore. Okay. Yeah, I should read them more. I, I do read emails, I, although quite quickly. Again, I'm still also trying to think that I don't get too sort of slow in the stream. But yeah, definitely reading emails still... I guess the interviews I should read more, probably. Um, but yeah, they will probably explain <laughs> a few things. And and um, so we had, what was the, what's the Del Toro, the director, Guillermo Del, is it Guillermo Del Toro? His character, what was his name? We have Die Hard Man. And then we have... His character, anyways, is uh, trying to come up with answers to the BB thing, which is the mystery that has been the least open so far. We're just getting the visions about Mads Mikkelsen and don't really know much about it, honestly, at this point. And helps answer a lot of questions. The interviews, emails. Okay, yeah. I c you know, I could, I could always kind of read them through on my own, own time as well if I, I feel like... Um, I could read some of it during streams and then some of it um, on my own to to get the full picture and understand what's going on and be able to explain it, maybe. <laughs> but um, but also get some of that on the streams as well. But that's, that's the biggest mystery at the moment, the Matt Mikkelsen. Of course, the terrorist guy as well. And I don't know how all these people, how, how do they like do their teleporting and all that stuff and... It will all clear up. Maybe in the next one already. We'll see. Certainly in the next two streams. 
But thanks for joining, Outlaw, and everybody else. There were Riv, Raza, um, so many actually, Jan, others. Um, loads of people. So really appreciate that. It's so much fun always to share this. Um, so it's 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 good fun. And I shall continue Death Stranding next Tuesday, and then Thursday again, etc. Every week the same. And Sunday something else probably. Unless I, yeah, Sunday probably um, uh, will be something different. Like uh, I'll, I'll, I'll need to figure that one out yet. I'll, I'll keeping Sunday sort of as a random day to see, see more like um whatever I feel like. Hopefully, some point could be a community day where, um, where I could play with with the chat. Uh, but of, of course, I'm a small channel, so at the moment that's not really feasible. But maybe at some point, uh, sun Sunday could be that. But all right. Um, hopefully, more progress next time. Loads of progress today. Loads of fun, and um, I shall see you guys in the next one then. Um, bye. <laughs>